Boomer the dog. These are uh, characters that you can team up with in the game. Holy crap. Like, you, can, you can run around with a, a cougar and a bear like next to you. It's a thing. I mean, is she hot? Well, I mean, <laughs> she's feline. Wow. Uh, you said a cougar. Like, come on, dude. Actually, there is a cougar in the game, man. <laughs> and she's like, like, come on, sweetie, move that cute butt. She's pretty funny. <laughs> Alright, DM, you ready? I'm ready when y'all are ready. 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 We'll go ahead and roll a d20 if you be ready. Oh, shit. Boom! Awesome. Told you. Boom! Quine is not ready. Misa is not ready. Y'all go back to bed. I think somebody just found out what my nickname means. Not ready? <laughs> <laughs> Be That's what they're gonna start calling you this whole time. Hey, not ready. Are you ready? All right. So, do y'all remember what happened last time? Sure. <laughs> yeah. We we, we had a time. bird. We had a bird and an orc. Screw the pooch. <laughs> well, you all decided to uh, investigate the little tunnel that carp found. Uh, well, not carp pit. No, it was. That no, was carp. Yeah, yeah. Carp. Um, but uh, you decided to investigate the little tunnel that he had found that led, he believed, to the hideout of the uh, thugs that were kind of giving problems in town. Uh, you followed it along, kind of coming into a cellar beneath the uh, Trinsdale Manor. Um, there, you found a chest and a mysterious uh, one-eyed creature that you have eventually convinced to kind of help uh, show you around. He kind of led you through to some of the doors where some of the guards were and kind of got them to lead you to the doorway that actually led to the wizard that supposedly ran the operation. Um, however, it appeared that the wizard was aware of y'all's coming and fled. Um, in that process, Zoldrek then turned on the Nothic, but was unable to kill it in time, and it fled and alerted a bunch of the guards to y'all's intrusion. I was just playing. <laughs> uh, then in a hurry, you you know grabbed some stuff, ran, barricaded some doorways, set some fires, and left back the way you came. Uh, eventually making your way over to the Edomath Orchard uh, where you met Darren Edomath, a retired adventurer um, agreeing to take care of the thugs for good he decided to allow y'all to uh, stay in his place um, as y'all had not wanted to draw any attention to the farm from the day before Zoldrek and Nisa then decided to go out on their own and investigate the Sleeping Giant Inn where they met four of the thugs waiting and some unpleasanties were shared and a fight broke out. <laughs> Things got pretty dire and thankfully Klein and Xanthos got there in time to kind of help turn things around. Oh no, they saved our asses. Yeah, that was uh. Nah, we had it all under control. <laughs> I was sugar sugar coating that one. It's all but good. You would have died without them. Uh, but y'all turned things around. <coughs> got the rest of the thugs piling on that the base of the uh, path that led to the manor, and returned to the orchard to call it a night. Um, you all have now woken up, well rested. Yeah. <sighs> life and spells and everything back so I believe we did all that last time so mm. and you are now awake cramped within the little room within the uh, orchard but the day is yours okay. 
So, what do you guys want to do? Um, I think we should go fuck up those thieves. Like, we started that, so we might as well finish it. I agree wholeheartedly. <laughs> yeah, maybe we can talk to the the elf just to see if if uh, he knows any any weaknesses, perhaps. Mm. Oh, you want to go talk to the adventure guy? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we could do that. He wants us to... Alright. So, what is y'all here? I don't know what's going on. Uh, but as you all get up and kind of gather your things, kind of deciding you know, where to go next, uh, you actually hear a uh, door open and the uh, door to the room you're staying in also opens and you see uh, uh, Darren actually come rushing in and sees you all he's like, ah, good, you're awake. Uh, I think we have a bit of a problem. What's the problem? Uh, well, there's a couple fires in the middle of the town. Ruh-roh. Um, ruh -ro. Unfortunately, I am, in my age, not quite up to uh, handling these things, but I was hoping maybe y'all could check it out. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna like run out of, out the door, like, and start heading to wherever the fires are coming from. All right. So you all watch as Oldrick just burst, goes full sprint out the uh, house. Um, I go ahead and follow him, but not as much of a hurry as he is. Alright. Klein? I just, I just look out the window and shake my head. <laughs> Classic Klein. <laughs> like I'm not that? running out to try and start a fight, I'm running out to try and stop the fires. So are you staying behind, Klein? No, I'm, I'm just like, at uh -oh. this point, just looking out the window right now. Alright, so you look out, and it's hard to see much based off where the, uh, you know, where the orchard lies. You kind of just see, like, the back of a lot of other buildings. But you can see smoke kind of rising up into the uh, sky. And judging by the distance, actually, um, as y'all have kind of crossed through the towns a few times, it uh, looks to be coming pretty closely to where the uh, inn was that y'all first stayed. Oh, stop. Oh, right over here. Can you help me? Uh, Zoldrick. So you go charging full speed, kind of following, trying to get a good position to kind of see the uh, smoke and where the fires are. Yeah, um, Um, is there anything like a well or anything around? Uh, There's the Shrine of Luck. You know there was, uh, there was uh, one well that was kind of in the center part of town. Um, um, you gather there's probably some like closer towards some of the farms as well, but that's at least the nearest one that you've seen. When I look around, uh, do I see any containers that can hold water, like buckets or, you know, anything? Uh, as you're running along, you probably, I'd say you see like a couple buckets here and there, like, you know, beside or behind some of the houses as you kind of run. Um, right, this is an RPG game after all. <laughs> yeah, you know, they're, they're everywhere, just like uh, TNT barrels. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you could easily snatch one up if you wanted. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Alright, I will say as you uh, are kind of picking up one of the buckets and running along, you do hear a couple shouts 
uh, followed by somebody kind of just kind of shouting out, "Be quiet!" And mm -hmm. it sounds like a bunch of heavy impacts. Um, and as you kind of get into a clearing and you see actually uh, Barthen's provisions, the uh, store you first came to when you came to town that y'all uh, delivered the supplies y'all were leading for uh, Gundren. Mm -hmm. uh, you see a couple people on the far side of the wall kind of, or road kind of looking and you see a group of three of the thugs similar clothing and everything as the ones y'all had encountered you know the night before and a much taller furrier individual similar to the one y'all had fought in the goblin cave that you had for dinner yummy and the bugbear is currently <coughs> holding uh, Barth in the shopkeep up against the wall and is punching him Ah, uh, was he a nice so guy? Chuck, you ran this way? Chuck, you ran down through the town green? Yeah, I was running towards the wherever the fire was coming from. So did you run this? Did he run this way or this way, David? Uh, more the other way, kind of along the road, uh, upwards. Up this way? Yeah. Because uh, you could see, yeah, some of the, the way he kind of was running that way, stopped to grab a bucket from one of those houses along the road. Alright, well, I'm going to come down this way. Alright. So you start making your way more towards the uh, center of town. Uh, Zoldrek, you're more up here, and... Uh, I'm Nisa now? I, I should really zoom in. I'm just... <laughs> everything like a little tiny square. <laughs> That's better. So, Nisa, you actually get up next to, uh... Let's see. Uh... Matt. Evens or odds? Evens. Uh-oh. Okay. Uh, Xanthos went with you. Uh, Why is he so small? Because I accidentally, uh, changed the size of him. Uh, Nisa, you get up next to uh, Zoldrek and you see the same thing as these four individuals are currently uh, beating so they up. over here? Yep, beating up on the shopkeep of Barthen's provisions and you can hear them kind of... Occasionally the one that seems to be up close next to the bugbear, you hear him occasionally say the words like, Where are they? I know they came here when they first came in. Where are they? I'm gonna go back and around. I'm assuming I can't hear this. I'm gonna go like back here. Yeah, you uh you and Xanthos as you kinda get towards the center of town, you can see the Stone Hill in full fledged and flames. Um bunch of people kinda crowded about, um, kind of helping <laughs> the other get away. Um, but I'm gonna yeah. yeah, I'm gonna come back and around, and I'm gonna throw my cloak over me again. My clothes that I was wearing to, like, kind of mask who I was. Alright. So you just run right by all the people by the end? Yeah. Alrighty. I'm gonna tell Santos to keep a low profile. I don't really understand, but I'll follow your lead. Um. Uh, Zoldrick, Nisa, anything you want to do? Fusroda! <laughs> I thought about it, actually. I'm probably... I don't know. I don't remember if he was a, good, like a nice person or not. Bartham was Bartham was fine to us. He was pleasant. <sighs> yeah, I thought about throwing the lightning javelin. Yeah, yeah, you probably should, and I'll probably just shoot a, a fireball that direction too at him, at the guy that's holding him up. Just uh, be careful how you aim the javelin, because it does hit friendlies as well if they're in the 
path of the lightning. Yeah, that's why I was why I was kind of hesitating. Chances are Barton's gonna die if I throw this thing. Alright. Uh, well, just to uh, back to. Matt momentarily ignores things for now as y'all haven't quite made it that far. Cool. But, um, but yeah, so there you see uh, the three thugs, two of them kind of standing back, one of them that seems to be up close and personal, and the bugbear that seems to be continually just punching and kicking Barthen. Although technically I wanted to be like over here behind the building, like trying to listen in. <laughs> That's 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 where I was going. I know y'all technically aren't on the map yet. Oh, okay. It Fine. just doesn't go that far down. Yeah, yet. that's that's what that's what. I just wasn't sure if I was clear, like in what I was trying to do. Yeah, I know. Which is obviously sneak in and steal all of his stuff. I mean, stealing all the stuff. I'm gonna stop by by the tree. <laughs> Just to kind of get an idea of what's going on. Alright, so yeah, you uh, stop and spend a moment, and you very clearly see these individuals that seem to be huddled around Barth, and you hear the same calls of, where are they? And you kind of hear Barth, and just every now and then kind of hoarsely let out, I don't know, I told you! And then the punching kind of continues from there. I'm assuming when I stop, like, needs to cut off the me. Yeah, he's now kind of at your side, kind of seeing all this as well. He's gonna turn to him and say, well? I just go ahead and launch a fireball at the bugbear. That's Ooh. what I was hoping you'd do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Okay. So you'll probably have to move just a little bit, get a better angle, and go ahead and make your uh, make your attack roll. Say it's plus five. Oh Jesus! Are these guys friendlies, or are they are these like town folk, or are these red? Uh, no, those are just uh, regular townsfolk that are kind of in the area. Oh, okay. Yeah, some that are kind of watching, some that are kind of just away from the area. Uh, oh, I was about to attack that guy up, up north. Uh, yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah, the, the, uh, the women tokens are all commoners, that's the way they uh, put them. Mm. Okay. It's the ones that say ruffian, and then I was... Uh, 14 actually hit, John, so go ahead and roll the damage. Oh, thank god. Oh wait, no, that was the bugbear. Hold on. Oh no. Uh, I forgot you said you went after the bugbear. Let me just double check. Uh, 14 does not hit. Dang it. Uh, actually... No, because that's with the shield. I'd say he doesn't currently have the shield out. So yeah, that would hit. Sweet. Birthday, man. I'll take it. Alright, so four fire damage. Alright. And, uh, Soljek, what are you doing? Um... I mean, it's as soon as that happens, what's this to us? All right. So, um, so it's about as far as you can get at the moment. Did you want to throw anything, or are you just trying to get right up on top of them? I just want to put them in the back. <laughs> well, Alright, so I'll say you kind of get right on them. Uh, that would be, you know, your action to kind of dash and everything, but you're now kind of right up on them, kind of charging. Uh, the bugbear, as the blast of fire kind of hits them, and you see some of the fur and stuff start to singe and flame up, uh, you watch mm -hmm. as he drops Barth into the ground and kind of turns to look at the uh, 
people coming to rescue him, and you see him just kind of growl out as the uh, thugs turn and start pulling out their weapons. I can get everybody roll initiative, please. When I got up to him, I said, surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> Some fries, motherfucker. Supplies, motherfucker. Oh, you guys are fancy. <laughs> okay. I was just gonna. Let me mm -hmm. hold on. Give me a second. I, I gotta be fancy too. I can't. I can't not be fancy. <laughs> <laughs> so fancy, Zoldrek. You're so fancy. Hey, Xanthos rolled a four. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> well, someone else rolled a critical one, so... Yeah. So that doesn't matter on initiative, but still, yeah. though. Supply. Welcome. <laughs> Alright. Uh, so, Nisa, you are up first. Oh, mercy. Okay. Um... So you see Zoldrek charge at one, you watch the bugbear kind of drop Sparth in, and the rest of them start turning and facing you guys as you're kind of charging into the area. Hey, David, where is the door to um, Barthen's provisions? Because I see there's an entrance here, but is there one over here? Yeah, there'd be one around front, pretty close to where the uh, individual mm. is. Here. Like right here? Snake. Give or take, yeah. Um, okay. Which is where y'all would have first came in when you came in the town. Right, 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 right. Uh, let's see. We're going to go ahead and... Uh, um, uh, we're going to use one of my slots to shoot a magic missile. Ooh. All right. Magic missile. Uh, just a uh, level one that magic sounds missile. Like a, yeah. That sounds like a hot porn. All right. Uh... <laughs> Who you find the darts at? Uh, I'm gonna fire it at the uh, the bugbear again. All right, so all of it at the bugbear. Go ahead and roll damage. Let's see, uh, yeah, magic missiles automatically hit. Which is a missile? D4 plus one. It's not is it much. Just, but... Is it just one D4? That's what it says, I think. Oh wait, oh it's three, three darts. Yeah, I was like, it should be more than one, even at okay. level one. So Eight. roll another... 2d4. Okay. Give me one second to grab my book. Oh, Jesus. Really? Really? Two ones? It's good, though. It's good. Snake eyes, man. Snake eyes. Because you've done a d good deal of damage to him already. That's... <laughs> You've already done nine damage to him, so he's he's hurt. Although he hasn't pulled out his shield yet, so. Oh well, those two D four plus one as well. So that's a that's actually six. Oh, well there you go. For that one, so that'd be three. No wait, no you're right. Yeah, yeah, it's three D. It's a three D four plus one. Well, 3d4 plus 3 total, because each dart does 1d4 plus ah, 1. Ah, okay. So, oh, so, five, six, so, it'd be 7, technically. So then you've done 11 damage to him. Yeah. Yeah, because you can send them at different targets, or you can send it all at 1, in which, you know, you would do all of that. Uh, all right, so... <coughs> you uh, kind of lift up your palm after selling that bolt of fire and kind of... Go through, you know, a couple of the uh, motions and chants that you had learned when you learned the spell. And you see these three bolts of magical energy shoot forth, all of them zipping and kind of going right around Zoldrek and the others going straight, homing in on the bugbear, each one striking him, kind of pushing him back. As he's now glaring in your direction as you have really gotten his attention. <laughs> <laughs> Good job! Yeah! All right, that's your action. You gonna move or anything? Are you gonna stay put? Um, no, I'm gonna hang out and catch some shade right there. <laughs> All right, Clyde. Uh, you still got a little ways to go to actually get to the building. Um, 
I'd say just your regular movement would kind of get you where you're currently located. All right, so I'm going to dash into the store, into the back of the store, quietly. All right, uh, you dash up and the door is locked. Yeah. Hmm. Is there a key under the doormat? <laughs> uh, you can take an investigation check real quick. Hmm. Me, Alright, <laughs> hey, uh, you look down, there's no doormat or anything. Hmm. Um, you gather he doesn't really keep the back entrance unlocked. <laughs> can I try to pick the lock? You can if you want. I'm gonna try to pick the lock. <coughs> Alright, go ahead and make a uh, thieves tool check. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, I have a thieves tool. You know? Nope. Oh yeah, you're a... You're a ranger. I have a thieves tool. Uh, well then go ahead and just make a... I feel a, like uh, I would have learned it through survival. Right? Go ahead and make just a straight up uh, dexterity check. Since you're not uh, proficient with it. Alright, so you kind of start just grabbing any little thing that you have that you think might be able to kind of get the door unlocked and spend a little moment and fortunately you're having no luck without a uh, more proper uh, utility. <laughs> so I've used my action, or no, I've used my movement and my bonus action, right? Yeah, and the trying to pick the lock would have been your action. Okay. Uh, so Santos! Be... Santos, get over here! Pick this lock! <laughs> wow. Packing Xanthos to pick the lock. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm trying, man. Because <laughs> that's something he does. Uh, How do I know? I don't know this guy. Come on. I know. Uh, Maybe Zan he's proficient in it. It is Xanthos' turn, though, so he comes running up, but seeing Miso kind of in the distance firing magic missiles, he's like, ah, ah, this way, and starts heading along the side of the building. Oh, freaking idiot. He's ruining my plan. And is going to dash along the side of the building. Oh, right my God, Xanthos. <laughs> we had uh, the element of surprise, man. He, he just sees that his friends are fighting and... Uh, Zoldrick. <coughs> I'm a punch. No, I'm gonna hit this guy with my flail. All right, go yeah. ahead and make your attack roll. Uh, I'm. I mean, I'm going to one shot this guy with my flail. <laughs> then roll a critical hit. Come on. Uh, All right, big baller. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, you hit. They are not quite as uh, well protected as the uh, bugbear. Well, actually well, the same when he doesn't have a shield. 14 would have hit the bugbear too, yeah. Yeah. Well, when he was turned, at least. No, because he hasn't pulled out his shield yet. He hasn't had his turn yet. Oh, gotcha. I just want to like cut down the numbers. That's why I didn't go straight for him. Just no worries. He yeah. was already being attacked. So, um, which I believe, as your half work side, you get the re-roll, re-roll, don't you? Yeah, yeah is it like a berserker in. or something or uh, whatever? Uh, never mind. That's the uh, that's the critical hit. I have to announce that I'm using that first, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Never mind, never mind. Yeah, I was thinking of like a second wind or something, right? Well, yeah, that's, I was thinking he had a different ability as a half work that let him re-roll re -roll once, but I forgot. No, it's uh, his critical hits do extra damage. Right. Mm -hmm. All right, so you uh, have a second wind, but I didn't use it. Yeah, but you haven't taken any damage yet, so you're good. Yeah. All right, so you go ahead and pull out your flail right as the uh, the thug turns and kind of 
is caught off guard by the fact you're standing right behind him and you catch him right across like the uh, shoulder and the side of his neck kind of caving his arm down some and he's surprised motherfucker yeah taken aback by the sudden appearance of this massive half orc that is now uh bringing the fight to him <laughs> uh that's your action anything else How tall is this building? It's your typical one story building. I mean, this one, this part looks kind of small. I could probably leap up on that, right? Yeah, it's a little smaller. Like, you know, with a decent check, you could get up there. Did you bring any boxes with you? <laughs> this is an hello neighbor, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So it brings us to the enemy's turn. Um, this one is going to charge over to you, Zoldrek. Bugbear is going to pull out his shield and start heading towards you, Sean. Oh, great. So, um, Yo, he had a long move, holy crap. Yeah, uh -huh. uh, Let me check one thing real quick. Yep, that's what I thought. Okay, so he's actually, as he pulls out his shield, he then pulls out a javelin from his back. He then pulls out a dock. <laughs> <laughs> and is going to go ahead and make a uh, throw at you. That is a 12 to hit. Yeah, that's my armor class. Alright. So you take... <coughs> so 6 piercing damage as the javelin strikes you pretty much Kind of in the lower abdomen, really uh, taking your breath away for a moment as uh, you're now looking at this angry, massive bugbear that's charging your way. It's his birthday. <laughs> uh. <laughs> and I'm already half dead. <laughs> but you're not dead. You're right. <laughs> Yet. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the other one is actually just kind of going to lean over and pick up Larson and kind of hold him there. Uh, the two ruffians fighting you, Zuldric. Leave all they have are just regular short swords. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Yep. Okay. So we got a 14 and an 8 against you. I believe both of those miss, actually. Uh, yes. All right. So despite the second one coming up, you kind of step aside as the one tries to retaliate, bring your flail up just in time to deflect the uh, sword from the other one, and are kind of now facing two of these. As you notice the bugbear kind of charge past you, and you see the other one kind of bending down to pick parts and back up, kind of hoping to use him as some type of shield. Uh, brings us back up to Nisa. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and use my uh, last healing potion. Potion right. of healing. So two D four plus two. Awesome. That's all I need. Well, you got all that damage back. <laughs> and then uh, I'm gonna go ahead and shoot a ray of frost at him. Hey, right, make that attack roll. Is that a level one ray of frost? Oh my fucking god. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, uh, now that he has a shield up, he kind of lifts it up just in time. Uh, you see the ice start to spread across the shield, but he pushes it aside and continues to charge your way unfazed. His, his shield is brittle. <laughs> yeah. Alright, you gonna move any or are you gonna stay put? Oh, heck. Let me see, how far can I move? 30 feet? Climb up the tree. Yeah, can I fly away? Uh, you can <laughs> technically run off the map around the tree if you wanted. Uh, well, let me switch the window. Come on. Uh, yeah, let, can you, uh, put me just, like, put me going down? Ooh. Like, going Ooh. south? Oh, yeah. I <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna, like, run away. <laughs> 
put him going down. All right, so you kind of start heading away, trying to get away from the angry bugbear now that's completely focused on you. Uh, Klein. I'm going to try and kick this door down. <laughs> All right. Uh, make a uh, athletics <sighs> check. Or just straight up strength. <laughs> All right. Come you on. What so you get? Uh, advantage, though, because no one knows I'm here. <laughs> it's a door. It doesn't really get surprised. <laughs> <laughs> So you you stand up, tossing like the pieces you were using, like in frustration. Take a step back and step forward, lifting your leg up. Boom! It buckles a little bit, and you feel the pain start to kind of well up your leg as you're like trying to rub it out. So what was that? Was that my action? Uh, I'll let you use it as your bonus since it was a failed attempt. All right. <laughs> So, can I move to here and try to climb the roof? Alright. Uh, go ahead and uh, make a athletics check. Alright. Okay. So, despite the pain in your leg, you kind of shake it off long enough and get a good leap catching the uh, edge of the roof and in one swift motion pull you up. Uh, that is the end of your movement, but you are uh, currently now on top of the roof. Legs still so, a little bit in pain, but... So could the kick have been my action <coughs> instead of my bonus action? Are you trying to dash? Yeah. Uh, you can still dash as an action. Oh, okay. Yeah, um, anybody can dash as an action, just... Actually, if... wait, I forget, you're a ranger, you can't dash as a bonus action anyway. I keep forgetting oh. that. Fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, that's, so, that's a strictly a uh, rogue ability. If I move to here, would they, anybody be able to see me? Well, you wouldn't be able to, because... Uh... Well, actually, yeah, because I said your bonus action. So, yeah, you could move up. Uh, I mean, you don't know if anybody would see you or not. Uh, you can roll a stealth check if you want to try to be quiet about it. Yeah, I'm going to roll a stealth check. <laughs> All right. Alright, so you kind of get low and try to press up against the uh, other side of the building that sticks out a little higher up. And despite the wincing with each step, um, you kind of get over and you think nobody's noticed you. Um, you look down and you kind of see uh, Nisa starting to run as the bugbear is following him. <laughs> uh, you see Zoldrek now fighting two of these uh, ruffians face to face. And you see the uh, brief outline of another one that seems to be pressed up against the building itself. Uh, but that is your turn. Brings us to Xanthos. He's going to kind of charge around the building. Xanthos, yeah. now! <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, you planned that. I know you did. Uh, he's going to just take in the... Uh, Situation at hand. Uh, all right. The options does he have? About you. All right. So he's going to go ahead and. So you watch as he turns the corner, and you see what you've seen him do before, where suddenly his hands start to glow like this bright, radiant light, which he then launches forward in this little blast of energy that zips past, striking the bugbear as he's like charging after you, Nisa, almost launching him off his feet. <coughs> uh, you see he's looking extremely rough, barely holding it together, and is now just glowing this bright light. 
Jesus. Uh, so the next next attack roll against the bugbear does have advantage. Sweet. Um, but he's then going to start trying to charge ahead to start trying to get some of the others' attention. Uh, Zoldrin. Yeah, man. Here you go. Um, you want to it? I'm going to use uh, action surge so that I get two actions. All right. And first, I'm going to attack the the guy that I attacked before. All right. Go ahead and make that attack roll. Ow. Unfortunately, misses. My second attack. I'm I'm still gonna swing at the other guy. All right. Dang. So go ahead and roll damage. Yeah. Ooh, nice. At least I got an injured guy next to me. Yep. So you first strike, you kind of go to try to finish off the first individual you hit. Uh, but as you're bringing your flail around, you feel it stop suddenly. <clears throat> look over to see the one to your side has brought up his sword and kind of blocked your attack. But you use that to redirect your movement, bringing it back down and crashing down into his ribs as he hunches over next to you. He's in a pretty bad place. Uh, you see quite a bit of blood dripping from his mouth as he's now breathing fairly heavily. <laughs> Alright, so that's your action. Anything else? Uh, no. Uh, I'll start for it. Alright. So that brings us to the ruffians. Uh, Bugbear is going to continue. Actually... Evens or odds, Sean? Uh, odds. Alright, he's going to continue going after you. Shit. <laughs> At least he doesn't have a javelin anymore. Yeah, it's in my hip. <laughs> so as he charges forward, you watch as he uh, reaches down and pulls out this kind of gnarled looking morning star from his side. Jesus. And brings that around in an attempt to slash at you. And now it's going to be in my side. Oh, thank God. Oh. <laughs> So oh. the light that's radiating from him, you can see him kind of squinting, having a hard time seeing, and as he brings it up, you're able to duck just the way at the right time, and it feel it pass over your head, but thankfully you uh, just missed out on some of the spikes. <laughs> uh, brings us to the runs against Zoldrek. That is a 22 and a 21 to hit. Jesus. Yeah, both hit. Alright, so you take... Seven and seven, so fourteen slashing damage. That leaves me with a thing. Um, as you kind of feel two short swords kind of stab into you, one from each side, and you kind of do your best to kind of shake them away. Um, this one's actually going to grab uh, Arthur and start sliding over this way, kind of shouting at everybody to get away to stop or he'll kill him. Um, that is his Play character. right into my head. <laughs> uh, Nisa. Oh, shit. Let's see. I'm sorry, but if he was trying to slide, wouldn't he have stayed closer to the wall, though? It's a weird grid. <laughs> yeah, but you should, like, put him, like, right here. I... Right underneath me. <laughs> Yeah! As he looks up and sees <laughs> I hope he does too, jeez. Um, you gotta hit up with that modification, bro. <laughs> Yo, I'm about to go Leonardo <coughs> on his tail. I'm just gonna go ahead and shoot the thunder wave at the bugbear, right? 
See if I can finish him off. All right. Is that a uh, that's a saving throw on his part, isn't it? Uh, yeah. uh hang on. Oh, is that a? Uh... <coughs> yeah. After I after it hits, he's got to make a Constitution saving throw. All right. So you still roll the hit first. Yeah. All right. So go ahead and make your attack roll at advantage due to the glowing nature from Xanthos's attack. Let's see. Oh. <laughs> oh. Well, I mean, that he definitely just disintegrates. <laughs> <laughs> so go ahead and roll your damage and double it. Let's see. Uh, uh, that's a. Uh... Wait, it was 2d8. Yeah, it doesn't even matter what you roll, but roll it just for fun. Just for funsies. Because even if you roll two ones doubled, it'll still be enough to kill him. So yeah, so nine, so eighteen damage. I am pleased. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you kind of snap your and crack your knuckles and kind of launch this uh, thunderous energy from you, slamming into the bugbear <clears throat> as he kind of goes flying back and kind of rolls on the <laughs> ground, and you watch as he does not get back up. <laughs> I'm going to flip them off, and then I'm going to walk over this way towards the road and end my turn. Oh, I can move myself, right. yeah. Yep. All right. Uh, Klein. I'm going to pull out my, my two short swords, Leonardo style, and drop right down on this guy's head. <laughs> All right. Please, slicing my swords please down God, don't roll him. a one. I'm I slicing my swords down into him. you got to stab right. him and say... I was gonna say, no, he's, he's, far, he's far enough away. No, he's. I mean, holding he's holding him. him. Yeah. He's imagine, far away. imagine somebody standing behind you, like holding you in a chokehold. Like. Yeah, he's far enough away. Hey. Uh, the twenty-three hits. Yeah. Uh, so go ahead and roll damage with your modifier now, dude. Does. Does it not go at advantage because I was above him and you didn't know I was there? I would have normally, but because you had to aim your strikes not to hit Barthen, it's just a normal attack. Fair enough, fair enough, that's fair. Granted, your advantage of 13 still would have missed, so either way, only one hits. Alright, jeez, you don't gotta <laughs> pour it on. <laughs> 1d6 plus 3. Yep. Alright, uh, damage. So, so I'm gonna you, say that I landed here. Yeah, for sake of map things. Yeah. So you kind of leap down. Uh, your first strike, you kind of have to pull the sword away as you realize you kind of misjudged it. Uh, mm -hmm. But as you land, the other one... Actually, roll another uh, d6. Another d6? Yep, just straight up d6. <laughs> Alright. Uh... So he takes an additional point, and you take one point of damage just from the fall. Fair enough. Um, but you do kind of move your first sword out the way, but the other one you kind of had in perfect position, kind of jabbing it down straight between the uh, shoulder like in the clavicle region. He kind of cries out in pain, and you watch him let go of Barthen entirely. And you kind of pull your sword out and kind of now have him propped up against the wall in a very bad spot. <laughs> uh, okay. So that brings us to Xanthos. Do I do I still have any movement? Uh you could technically move if you wanted. Could could I try to no I guess I couldn't. Never mind. I was gonna try to move in between him and Barthen, but uh, I'd say you could kind of try to push Barthen out the way to get in between them. Alright, yeah, that's what I'm going to try and do. Alright, so as he lets go and Barthen immediately starts trying to scramble away, <clears throat> and anyway, kind of feel like his opportunity, you kind of step in front of him, trying to block him from the ruffian being able to get after him. Alright, so Xanthos is going to go and kind of go after the one that next to you, Zoldrek, trying to help you out, seeing that you're completely surrounded. Cool. Um, 
All right. And ooh. let's go, oh, Xanthos. You're a freaking monster. <laughs> and with that, you feel like as the uh, short swords you're like kind of getting out from within you, and you're kind of looking around frantically. You watch as the like silhouette of Xanthos arrives behind the one that's focused on you. And you just see his uh, mace come crashing down in the top of the uh, thug's head as he now slumps down into you. Oh, leaving yeah. you now alone, one-on-one -on -one with the other ruffian. <laughs> and it is your go. This is the guy that I attacked first, right? I did... Uh, push to him? Yep. Okay. Um... I guess I just gotta try and smack him again. Alright. It hits. Finish him. I don't know why I double rolled. I'm sorry about that. Flawless victory. <laughs> oh, that's true. I didn't even notice that. Alright. So, right? so you bring down your... Uh, you flail once again now that you're back to one on one with this ruffian, kind of slamming him down, like driving him down to his knee as he, with barely any strength left, kind of forces him back himself back up into a standing position. But you got to put my about... bucket on his head. <laughs> All right, so as he's standing up, you kind of just place your bucket on top of his head, <laughs> flailing around like all confused and just angry and. Quite hurt. <laughs> um, that does bring us to the thug's turn. Uh, he is actually just going to try to run away as he realizes he's now in a bad spot. You do get a uh, attack of opportunity against him if you want. Um. Yeah. Yeah. I'll hit him. All right. Make your attack roll. Yeah, that hits. You don't even have to roll damage. He had two hit points left. <laughs> All right. <coughs> so as he's like trying to run away, like doing his best to try to pull the uh, bucket off of his head, you reach down and smash it back down in. As you hear everything start to cave in, bucket kind of bends and creaks a little bit as he then slumps down in the middle of the road. My bucket. <laughs> Mr. Bucket. Uh, the other one, angry that he now had somebody leap down on top of him and is kind of seeing he's in a bad spot, is going to try to attack you, Klein. Good. And miss horribly. <laughs> um, Alright, so he's actually going to continue to stand his gun. Hmm. Backed up against the wall, kind of just looking around just staring you down, kind of a little angry, a little uh, just not having the best day. I like uh, Nisa. Alright, I'm gonna try something stupid. Um, <clears throat> I'm, gonna need, I'm gonna need everyone's cooperation with this. Now, I'm gonna try and run towards Zoldrek, and while I'm running there, I'm gonna yell towards him and tell and like signal him to like kind of bend, uh, bend down so I can like run and jump off his back. And then I want to shoot a, <laughs> I want to shoot a fireball over, over <laughs> Klein's head, and see if I can hit this no. guy. <laughs> All right, uh, Zoldrak, do you bend down? <laughs> yeah, of course. All right. So go ahead and make a athletics check, Nisa. Let's check. All right. So. I'm assuming I heard him, like, yelling to Zoldrek, so can I duck, too? Yeah, you kind of glance over and see your half-bird friend now leaping into the air. <laughs> <laughs> Not a very high leap, but it's a leap, and he, you see, like, his hands start to go flaming, as you've seen so many times. Uh, go ahead and make an attack roll, but then it's a bit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ah, oh, shit. Alright. 
Uh, so you launch it, uh, Klein ducks just at the right moment. The uh, thug also kind of sees this with like a look of confusion. <laughs> <laughs> Presses up against the wall as the uh, bolt of fire slams down in the patch of grass next to him like harmlessly. Uh, um, pretty close call, but you just narrowly miss. Uh, make one more athletics check. Or acrobatics, whichever you prefer. Uh, let's do acrobatics, I think I'm better at dexterity. Uh... Alright, so you land with a roll and kind of, in one quick motion, get back to your feet. Um, a little upset that your uh, bolt missed, but you at least uh, didn't make a fool of yourself. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of, <laughs> I kind of bow, take a bow and be like, "Thank you, thank you." All right, as you bow, climb. Your go. I'm gonna um, dragon breath, and then and uh, sword sword slash. Uh, you only get the extra sword attack if you're hitting with your sword. Oh, really? Yeah, it's part of the movement of your sword swipe as you're then using it to follow in. Never mind, I'll just do short two short sword slashes. Alright. Whoops. Uh, Whoops, sorry. One second, I don't know what just happened. It uh, looks like you actually somehow managed to roll damage. I clicked on... How do you do that? God bless. I don't so know. I, click, I clicked on the short sword in the box. Hmm. Alright. Well, the second one misses, but the first one does hit, uh, dealing the eight slashing damage. Um, so as y'all both kind of look a little confused at Nisa's antics and kind of breathe a sigh of relief that the bolt of fire didn't strike you, uh, you both kind of then go back to looking at each other as you then plunge your sword sword into him, pressing him back up against the wall. Uh, he's doing his best trying to pry it free, but is not in a good place. I mean, I'm just saying, that second one should have been an advantage since he's pressed up against the wall. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> it makes sense. It makes sense. It's m more flavor element I, than anything. You're the one that's trying to sneak on the door. <laughs> Alright, so Xanthos is going to run up to you, Zoldrick. Actually, need to check one thing. Hey, which direction is the manor? The manor's in this direction, right? Uh, so it's it's to, right. to the right. I'm, so I'm going to move back so in right. to the other side of him. Alright. <laughs> Alright, so that's what I thought. Okay, so... Uh, five plus three, you regain eight hit points, Zoldrek. Nice. As uh, Xanthos rush, rushes up and places his uh, hand on your sh this soothing energy kind of spread throughout your body as some of the uh, wounds you had taken from the short sword start to heal up. And he just kind of gives you that nod and kind of starts running more in the direction of the others. Uh, Zoldrek. Um, can can I Zoldrek. see the guy from where I'm standing? I bend yeah. over and signal him to jump on my back. <laughs> <laughs> no, Zoldrek, go protect protect Barthen. Yeah, you see, I'm kind of. Engaged with Klein around the corner, and you hear Klein telling you to protect Barton, who's kind of running away from the area. I'll I'll just go in the direction that Barton's headed. And right, once so I get there, since I'm close to Barton. Thank you. That's the most. Anyway. Alright, so you kind of get up next to him and pull out your crossbow trying to hit, but unfortunately, yeah. Uh, as what him the and... fuck was that? <laughs> I don't know. 
Uh, but as Klein and him are kind of struggling, you find it hard to get like a decent shot in, and the arrow kind of strikes and sticks into the side of the wall. Sticks uh, into the side of Klein. <laughs> uh, brings us to the remaining thug. Uh, ooh. Oh my god. <laughs> Well, it's been nice, time. guys. It's been fun. Rest in peace. <laughs> nah, so that's two times two is four plus two, so you take six slashing damage. Thankfully, he rolled low, so... I'm dead, guys. <laughs> and he's now going to see everything start to close around him. He's going to try to make a run for it. You get a uh, attack of opportunity if you want to take it. Go for it, man. Of course. I'm gonna, uh, Dragon Breath him. Um... I believe it has to be a melee attack. That's a, it's a melee attack, right? That's just 2d6. No, it's more of a, uh, you know... It'd be closer to a spell, even though it's not, but... What? It has to be, like, it has to be a physical weapon attack for the yeah. attack. Yeah. That sucks. But, I mean... I I'll, think either way it missed, so... No matter what I did, I think. Uh, or no, he has to do a constitution yeah. saving throw. No. I'll allow it, just because I don't know where it is in the book. Um, I'll, have to check. <laughs> I'll have to check that for the future, but... So he has to get 11 or more to not get hit by it, right? Uh, I think he only takes half damage if he succeeds. Yeah. Oh. Um, which... Could potentially allow him to survive a little bit longer. Uh, he, yeah, it's not a very uh, high. Uh... Nope. <laughs> uh, so you watch as he starts to like <coughs> gag, as your poisonous breath kind of consumes him, and you watch as his pace slows, and then eventually he drops down to the ground, kind of rolling over, and eventually becomes still. Damn. As you all are now left in the clearing by yourself. Barthen kind of runs up to you guys and just... Ah, thank, thank you. Ah. I don't know what you guys did to piss them off, but... I'm just going to walk <laughs> up and put my... I'm just going to walk up and put my hand on his shoulder. Alright. Uh, he's kind of just got his... Hands on his knees, kind of breathing, trying to like calm himself, but kind of nods in your direction and just <laughs> seriously, uh, thank you, thank you. Ugh, I didn't think anybody was gonna come. I walk over to him and put my hand on his shoulder too. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> and I say, my bad. That's that's fine. Uh, no, no, I'm done. I think I might be taking the rest of the day off, though. And you see him kind of stretch his shoulder and kind of rub on some of the bruises. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna start heading towards the end to try to put the fire out. All right. So you start making your way yourself. Uh, what are the rest of you all doing? I'm gonna I'm gonna um like nod to Xanthos to follow me. Uh, he's kind of very easily is already kind of heading in your direction, knowing that the flames have kind of been going for a while now. I don't know that you guys have seen the actual fire, but the inn is fully engulfed. Uh, I'd say at this point, like, looking and seeing your companions, you'd be able to see the inn, because it's only a couple buildings down. Right. Y'all were just a little focused on uh, the current situation. <laughs> Yeah, I'll I'll start heading in the in that direction too. Yeah. Same, same. All right. So I'm actually gonna ask Barthen if he has anything to help put out the fire. He's uh, a provision shop. He should have something. It's like I mean, I just I got some extra buckets if you need some help carrying some water, but that's yeah that's about it. Yeah, I'm gonna tell the townsfolk here that are just sitting around to like gather up buckets to help. Alright. Um, 
So sure, they off. just saw us defending their city like they should. They should want to help. So some of them, in very little convincing, start running off looking for something. Others are still a little uh, scared, but eventually kind of follow you all. I'm going to actually, instead of like trying to put out the fire right now, I'm going to run in to see if there's anybody that needs saving in there. <clears throat> All right, uh, as you actually start the run towards entrance... Do I uh, see the little kid who was talking to us? Uh, no, but you do see uh, the innkeep and his wife. Um, what, where's your kid? Th they took him. Fuck, all right. Let's go to the manor, come on. Let me just... Let me check one thing real quick, because I believe... quite uh, high enough. Alright, uh, but you do see Xantha well and start throwing some water at it at the uh, building and you actually watch as some of the water kind of starts to uh, shift and like reach around and kind of hit other spots of the end trying to get some of the out of like hard to reach areas. Nice. Uh, can I try okay. shooting my ray of frost to help? Yeah, you can kind of aim at a couple spots trying to like you know uh, it does do, you know, a little bit of damage to the actual building itself, but it's already in flames and weakening anyway, so yeah, yeah. it helps kind of, <laughs> especially the uh, magical nature of it, kind of helps calm some of the uh, flames and start freezing and slowing some of the areas. Um, so after a while, you are eventually able to kind of get things calm enough and kind of put everything out. Uh, the inn itself is in ruins, but parts of it are still standing. Um... You see, you know, quite a few townsfolk that are, some of them that have been helping others that just seem kind of breathless and scared, and uh, you see the owners kind of come up to you thanking you and just, please, if, if you could get our son back, we'd greatly appreciate it. I'd like, no, I'd like to do nothing more than get your son back for you. Uh, I, thank you. They were they were asking about you, wondering where y'all were. I tried telling them you weren't at the end, but they wouldn't hear it. They're ready to die. Oh. I'm gonna form some good berries um, with one of my spell slots. All right. And then I'm gonna eat seven to get me back to full health. And then um, offer them to my party members. See if they need any. I'm good right now. I need six health, but... Uh, um, so I have three left that I can give you. How's Xanthos? Oh, he's fine. He didn't get hit. Yeah, I'll take him. Yeah, right, I'll, I'll, I'll hand three to Zuldrek, and then I'm going to start heading towards the inn. Thanks, bro. I'm gonna start walking towards the inn. With the stone or the sleeping giant? Or no, no, the um, the manor. The manor. Oh, okay. Hey. <coughs> We're going just straight to the front. Yep. I'm gonna burn that place down. Hey. To with uh, the kid inside. Yep. To make it easier, I'm gonna go back to just using one form. Um, so you all start, you know, kind of say you're, you know, kind of make sure everybody's fine, and you start making your way toward the manor. At uh, eventually you get towards the spot near the sleeping giant where y'all had y'all's battle and as you get closer to the uh, path that starts leading up the uh, hillside to the manor uh, you do notice that the bodies you had piled out front are gone the bodies <laughs> yeah we piled up dead bodies like on the stairs and the oh great we should have burned them um... yeah They're so young. They're probably so, zombies. So you're gonna go up the uh, hillside towards the manor? Yep. Is this a good idea? I'm pissed, dude. I'm. Mm. <laughs> mm. Okay, yeah. I'll follow you guys. I'll follow you. Yeah. I'm gonna go with him. 
not gonna leave them. So eventually you guys get up towards the top of the hill, towards the manor itself. Uh, first time you've oh, actually- Oh, up. wait, 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 wait. When we get to the bottom, I'm gonna tell them about my letter that I have. What letter? All right. So as y'all are kind of walking up the, uh, you know, hill, like the path towards the manor, you kind of tell them about the, uh, letter itself that you found. I, I don't remember everything it said, though, David. Uh, it's easy enough. It, it basically just said that the wizard knows that we're here. And he knows who we are. Uh, there you go. That should pop up oh. on everybody's screen. Nice. <laughs> he found that in the wizard's chambers. Mm. Huh. It's tough. So, I'm I'm pretty mad at this point. I'm going. I'm going up the hill. Right. So, as he kind of tells you about the letter itself and lets you know about everything, you eventually get to the top. And it's the first time you've actually seen the manor up close. Uh, and you realize now why, besides maybe the secret sea, but why these thugs kind of are hanging out in the cellar, as the manor itself is mostly destroyed. Um, you see a couple walls here and there that are still standing, but the bulk of the structure is complete. In ruin. I um, it looked that way from the picture, but I didn't know if if yeah. that was like a yeah. Nope. The entire thing seems to be standing in ruin. Um, <coughs> you do see off to the side. <coughs> uh, actually, no. That would be yeah. So yep. Yeah, so you're kind of in front. And you just see this mess of uh, wood and just piles of I'm gonna... like, the manor. I'm gonna circle it around the side here. Hey. Right. So as I'm you gonna tell I'm gonna tell them to go around the other side too. Why don't we just burn it down? Whatever's left of it. Let's check it out first, see what we can see. Yeah, it might be best to get uh the boy and anybody else out first before we start setting things on fire. Oh yeah, the boy. Yeah, we don't exactly know where they're keeping him, if they're even keeping him here, but it's better to be sure. As y'all uh, circle around, you eventually get more towards the back end of the manor, and you actually do see... Uh, I'm looking at these stairs here. Yeah, you actually see what looks to be an entrance that leads down. Uh, kind of like your typical cellar entrance outside of a building. Um, that along the back end of the manner. I think somebody should wait here while the while mo most of us go inside and see if there's anybody in the remains of the manor. I mean, you um, can kind of you can kind of see the entirety of the remains. There's nobody inside. Uh, none that you see, like, it's just a massive pile of just, you know, ruin. Well then, screw it, let's light it on fire. <laughs> That's what I was saying. Yeah, I know, but I was, I mean, Xanthos was like, there might be people, but if it's just, like, rubble, then let's light it on fire as a, as a tactic, scare tactic. Yeah, they're not gonna get scared, but I see what you mean. I mean, I don't, I don't actually see any point to it, but Leo's lead. Fire! I should have fireballed at it while yelling fire. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I think they just like fire. You know, David. What? This. Oh, what are you doing? This thing. Probably just like a, uh, say, probably like a little shed in back. I'm gonna check out the shed. And the toilet, and it's full of shit. I'm gonna check it out. That's also a possibility. Uh, let's see. <laughs> uh, hi, hello. <laughs> hi. <laughs> Alright, so you go and kind of pull it open, and it does appear to just be a uh, kind of abandoned shed. Uh, you see the occasional tool here or there, but it seems to have been primarily cleared out. In the massive dump on the floor, right in front of where uh, you stepped. I'm gonna collect everything in there. 
Alright, uh, I'd say you get one hammer, a uh, crowbar. And a single nail. <laughs> uh, yeah, a hammer, a crowbar, and I'd say a mostly kind of busted lantern. But it looks like it still, still might be functionable. Busted. Uh, uh, and a shovel. A shovel. I'm going to pass the lantern off to Xanthos. Do you have weights for the other stuff? Uh, I'll get to it later. Okay. Yeah. Not enough to make you suddenly overburdened, so it's not an issue. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, uh, but yeah, I'm going to pass the lantern off to Xanthos. Alright, he takes it, kind of used to you just handing him random stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I think they'll that by now. <laughs> yeah. Sean uh, and his frog. I love this guy. Uh, at this point, you do feel kind of the flame building as if it's now slowly start to catch flames. I'm gonna go to the to the steps of the cellar now. Uh, don't you think it might have been best to, that nothing collapses at the top of the exit? No, we have the cave exit. Uh, yeah, I suppose that's true. There won't be anybody left to oppose us after we're leaving. Alright. Uh, Touche. Uh, I suppose that is true. I'm gonna pull out my swords again, Leonardo style. Alright. So you kind of pull out your swords. Um, you go and pull open the entrance to the cellar. Oh. And then I'm gonna tell Xanthos after you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna tap Klein on the shoulder and be like, I'm beginning to like this guy, and I'll just go ahead and walk first. <laughs> oh, man. One. <clears throat> I forgot I deleted y'all's things off of this one. Load the new map. Well, after I put Load the back. new map. Well, after I put y'all back at it. Load the new map. Load the new map. You're welcome. It's motivation for you, David. Waiting. <laughs> well, Klein's dead at the end of the session. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Niso, you went first. Mm. Say Xanthos kind of follows after you. No, I, I was just joking. I'll. So. All right. I I did say that, but I was just joking. All right. I figured, but... And Zoldrek? Yeah, I'm, I'm following. Hey, you gonna follow right after Klein, or are you gonna follow at the uh, party? I'll, no, I'll stand. Uh, I'll follow, like, right after. Um, I'll kind right. of try and stay between the place and, and our smaller friends. Alright. Even though they're the ones who keep saving the day. <laughs> So Xanthos kind of gets in behind you and follows you down. Um, Alright. Uh, Eventually you all get to the bottom of the stairs and you see a uh, door in front of you, uh, Nisa. Uh, just a simple wooden door. Mmm, I see. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can, like, hear anything on the other side of the door. Alright, make a perception check. <clears throat> I'm gonna see him going up to Shit. listen in. I'm gonna go listen in, too. Alright, uh, easy enough, because you can kind of lean over his shoulder, so I'll say make one as well. Alright, so you uh, both press up against the door best you can, and you hear what sounds like rushing water, but other than that, you don't hear any other noise. Mm. 
Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try and open it slowly, without it like creaking or anything. All right. So you reach down and kind of grab the handle of the door. Uh, slowly start inching it forward, and you just see an empty room ahead of you. Uh, you see a fountain on the far end, a bunch of barrels and stuff piled up against the walls, and a couple sets of stairs that just lead to like higher portions of the room right next to you. Have you loaded the new map, or are we still on the old map? Because I only see the old map. Uh, right now, still the old. I'm waiting for oh, the okay. Lead. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah. Once I just wasn't sure it. if I was seeing the wrong thing. Nope, you're good. Mm. It's quiet. What you call Nisa? You said there's two stairs going to, like, adjacent rooms up above? Uh, you see, like, two small staircases that just seem to go to higher portion, like along the uh, sides of the room. Um, but from where you stand, you can't tell if they actually lead anywhere or not. Oh, gotcha. Um... How dark is it? Uh, pretty much similar as the last time y'all are in. Like, it's pretty dark. There's really no light source other than kind of what's popping in from behind y'all. I'm gonna use my gem of brightness. Alright. I'm gonna kind of like stay along the walls and see if I can get to one side of the the uh, the stairs because I'm pretty sure that this room is not as empty as we think it is. Sean, did you ever tell us about the invisibility potion? I didn't. I, know I didn't take I it though. Heard it, but I don't. What'd you say? I don't think I took it. No, no, no. But but did you ever tell us that he was trying to make it? Uh, that, no, I don't think I told I'm... you. Oh, okay. Yeah, because at this point, I'm assuming I don't know that there could be something there if I don't see anything. Yeah. Yeah, it was something. Alright, so I will go ahead and... So... <coughs> Technically, only Nisa's is in the room. So... You kind of eat itch in, and you see the two little staircases on both sides. Uh, now that you're inside, they just... Um, but neither seem to lead to an actual doorway. Uh, you do see one door to your right that's kind of in between the stairs. Mm. And you see a door on the far end, like next to the uh, fountain. No, I'm, I'm going to go in right behind Nisa again, trying to be silent as well. Alright, so you make your way in. Uh, hmm. Okay, so... Uh, I'm gonna kinda look over at So we're, we're on the what? bottom floor here? Yeah, go ahead and make a uh, perception check, both of y'all. <clears throat> now that y'all are in the room fully. I have night vision, so... I know. So does, uh, actually, I don't think Sam. No, I, I don't. Alright, well, but he does have his gym, which is, you know, whatever. Yeah. Take a moment, look, um, you don't see anything out of the ordinary, uh, me, so you don't see anything that seems to be moving that strikes you as being invisible or be still. Uh, I kind of like elbow we should, climb, we should... point out the two doors that we see, and kind of look at him. We should, we should, we should gather stuff to be able to blockade that bugbear door. Which door is that? Ooh, I think you broke up, Sean. I said, which which door is that? Um. I'm gonna try and like tell him about it because I mean I remember it was this door over here. I'm afraid that those guys are gonna. Uh, you don't recognize this room at all. 
Right, but I know where we're going. I'm I'm saying I want to be prepared to blockade off the bugbear door. Is what I'm saying. I know. I'm just saying you don't actually know if either of those doors. Right, 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 right. But I know eventually we're going to be there at some point. Maybe. I mean, we did barricade it. Remember, we blew something up and. Yeah. I don't want to have to mess with those bugbears. So you're just saying to bring stuff with y'all for when that happens? Yes. Alright, I got. I thought you were just walking up and just starting to randomly barricade doors. No, like, that's no, a... no, 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 no. Okay. I'm going to walk up to the fountain, though. Alright, so you start walking towards the fountain. Uh, the Xanthos, I'll say, is eventually going to edge in. I assume you come in as well, Zoldrek. Yeah, I'm coming in. All right, so you eventually get in as well. I'm going to ask Xanthos if there's anything weird about this water, since he clearly knows a lot about water. Um, all right, so he kind of comes up to you and starts... Oh. Um, yeah, I'm just going to stay over there. You watch as he eventually actually reaches into the water itself and pulls out what looks to be the remains of a rope. Of rope? Yep. Okay. Huh. Um, kind of looks to have been cut at one end and uh, I don't see anything out of the ordinary, but um, and he kind of gives it a tug, and but it looks like this attached to the bottom of the fountain. I'm guessing it might have held something at one point. Hmm. I'm gonna try and pull on it. Oh my All god! Right. So you kind of grab hold of it and give it a tug, and you realize that yeah, it does appear to be fastened to something at the bottom of the fountain. About how deep do I think this is? Um, looking at it, uh, it appears to be, I mean, it's kind of hard to tell, um, but it looks to be about a good 10, 15 feet deep. Jeez. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wave Zoldrek over, ask him what he thinks, and, and Nisa as well. I'm going to go over, um, can I see the rope? Say. Like can can I reach the rope from the the side? Uh, they they kind of hand like pass it over towards you, and yeah, it, okay. you know, you know, it kind of reaches enough that you can kind of get a hold on it. Um, it's kind of appears to be like as pulled as taut as it can be. Right, and you said that was going down through the water attached to something, right? Yeah, it appears to the actual bottom of the fountain itself hmm. um, but other than that you don't see anything else like around the fountain that seems out of the order <sighs> it's cutting out too much <laughs> well, what do you what do you think Xanthos do you think there's this could be a form of a trap uh, uh. Uh, let's see. Um, actually, let me see one thing real quick. How murky is the water? Uh, it looks pretty clear. Like, you can see down towards the, uh, bottom. Like, yeah, it's probably drinkable. So it's, it's dark. Uh, it, it's can I point my, my gem down into it to see if we can see the bottom? Uh, I'd say, yeah, as you lower your gem, kind of, you can see the itself in it. It appears to just be, you know, aside from the rope, you don't see anything else within the water. Lava um, jump in the water and just pull, use it to pull myself down to the bottom. <laughs> All right. <laughs> right. So, it is quite cool. Actually, pretty refreshing after being near the of the uh, My dick. building. <laughs> Shrinkage. Um, but you eventually swim down towards the bottom and holding on to the rope, and you can see that it seems to be looped around, like, kind of a, uh, oh, it's at the bottom, um, but other than that, you don't see anything else that stands out to you. Alright, I'll swim back up and tell them what you just told me. Alright. 
doesn't appear to be anything special. Yep. Uh, so you get back to the top, and it does appear to just be kind of... Uh, and as you look around, you kind of see it looks maybe like it's kind of like a bit of a drainage system, maybe, for collecting rainwater or something. Mm. Gotcha. Before I climb out, I'm going to pee in it. <laughs> Let those fuckers drink this. <laughs> Jeez. Well, there's not going to be any of them left when we're done here, so... Then I'll, then I'll say don't drink the bottle. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go yeah. check out this door to the, le the side of me. Here. Yep, you have a door straight ahead by the fountain and, and a door, a that, door be between the, uh, that one yeah, here. between the... Yeah, uh, between the... Staircases. I'm gonna peek into this one. To the room. From the door out to the right, or I guess to the left of the entrance from here. Alright, so the one between the uh, stairwell. Okay. That one, yeah. Um, Can we tell which direction the door opens? Uh, I'd say looks like it opens towards you, like you would be pulling it open. Well, we could block this door so nobody can come through it and then go out the other door. Are those barrels, like, just below me, like, are, are those actually there? Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna look at them to see, like, you know, if they look like they, they have any weight to them. Alright. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna assist them try to block this door. Hey, put, put that pissy you, uh, water in it. You start nudging some of the bales and there does appear to be some inside. Oh no, dead bodies. I'm gonna open them. That's where right. they went. Uh, you open up one and it appears, uh... So you open it up, it appears just to be a bunch of, uh, flour. I'm gonna go. I'm ah, gonna grab, so I'm gonna good. grab all all the big ones and just block off this door. Hey, yeah, I'm gonna help him. So you spend a little bit of time kind of, uh... I'm gonna make it a double layer one, too, so it's not so easy to, like, push over. Alright, so it takes you a little bit, but you eventually kind of ease and roll and drag a bunch of, bar like, barrels and kind of block off the doorway best you can. Um... You yeah, so like a, a a row here, and then a, like a row behind yeah. it. To uh, when, even when you're done, you gather it'll be pretty difficult to come from the other end. Um, I can't wait to throw the fly box. Well, seems like we've set a, a pretty decent trap here. Yeah, I, I don't think anyone's uh, gonna come through that way. Um, Guess we should check out the other one, huh? Indeed. That's the door we actually need to go through. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I'll, I'll go. Let's take a peek. Alright. The door is Nisa. Huh? Are you I'm, the I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and I'm gonna ask him if I can go through first. Ah, <sighs> okay. That's okay. exactly so how you So y'all eventually... <laughs> oh, crap. So you make your way in, and it appears to just be a sleeping quarters. You see a couple beds, another massive pile of barrels and boxes. Um, well, I screwed so the pooch, guys. <laughs> Covered the wrong door. I'm gonna... I'm gonna check out the boxes. All right, so you check through some of the boxes and appear to have, uh, looks like, a uh, pork. Um, some seems to have, like, various, like, beef. Uh, Ooh, one let me cook that. Like, uh, one There's food in here, like, guys! One seems to be, like, a crate of apples. Like, yeah, it just seems... What? Lower down here. Come on in, guys! Get me some food. Uh, 25% of the meat. 
uh, you kind of need something that's quite a bit of meat. <laughs> well, I, I meant I'm not going to try and take it all is what I meant. Yeah. I do. So you could grab, you know, you could put a <laughs> A handful? Yeah, those, like I said, the barrels are all so you'd be needing something to really carry it all in if y'all want to take too much. <laughs> True. Um, but but you, you could grab a decent amount to put in your bag that doesn't weigh things down too much. How, how much would you say? Uh, I'll say about the very because that say pounds. Ten pounds of meat? Yeah, maybe less if you wanted to save some for the others. Yeah. I wanted to grab some apples too. Yeah, so I'll how say... do I put this into my pack? I mean So I'll put ten pounds of meat. I'll give you ten pounds. <laughs> <laughs> How many how many individual pieces of meat would you It's like hamburgers, Absolutely. it's a big old clump. So it depends on how Yeah, it's how finely you wanted to cut it up. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Then, it's like, not like So so I have like, Yeah, it's not like pre-made steaks in there. It's, you know, it's hung So through. I have so I have one big piece uh, or Essentially, like well, a couple that are, you know, probably a couple smaller pieces, but yeah, they're, you know, Right, so I'll, I'll say I have five pieces of meat that are ten pounds. That sound right? Yeah, that's fine. Cool. And then how many apples can I grab? Oh. I mean, we'll say to make sure you still have room for other stuff. I'd say you could grab ten, twenty apples, depending on how much you want. Twenty apples. That sounds good to me. Jayless. Uh, yeah, we, we could do that later. We could do that later. Yeah. <laughs> It's going to be quite the interesting pack there. You it's don't really have... What? I don't really have anything to wrap anything with, so it's all just thrown in this bag. <laughs> I have my ranger. I have my ranger pack. It's like all on your... It's all on your arrows and shit, and your sword just running down the handle. No, I have, I have a ranger pack. I'm, I'm built for, like, scavenging. That's that's yeah. what I do. You have, like... You'd have <laughs> my character... Cloth. Uh, what'd, you, what'd you say? I'd say, yeah, you'd have a couple extra cloth and stuff to kind of wrap it around it. Yeah, I would say out of any of us, I'm the most prepared to be doing this. Wow, fuck you. I mean, legit, though. <laughs> I have a hood that I can carry those apples in. So, <laughs> um, you're the one that's running around butt naked, okay? I'm not naked. I mean, just look at your picture. All right, now you're just picking on like my picture. That's not that's not fair. Touché. I'm getting catfished here, guys. All right, let's go move the other freaking Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Let's just go move the other barrels back onto this door. Hey, so you go and start moving the barrels back out of the way. Yeah. Uh, hey, it seemed like a. It takes a good little bit of time, but eventually you kind of roll them back out the way and clear up. Back towards the door. <laughs> Next time, let's look behind the door first before uh, barricading. Well, it. well, ambushed from, from this way, they wouldn't have been able to ambush us from that way too. So, unless we both <laughs> it, it just at... it just took us a little bit of time, but it worked. Yeah, now the meat's all rotten, so you gotta throw it away. My meat. Mommy anyway, is nice and firm. Anyway, let's go ahead and open this hey door. <laughs> Getting the door away. Right. I'm I'm yeah. I'm gonna let him play with his meat. <laughs> I don't want him behind me if he's gonna play with his meat. Uh -uh. And you see a set of double doors that appear to be on the far side. Oh shit. <sighs> When I walk into the hallway, I'm going to take two handfuls of confetti and just throw them up in the air and then just walk through it. Um, so yeah, you all eventually get in. It's like this 10-foot wide hall. David's just um, like... Oh, 
Okay. Did he say? Did he say confetti? <laughs> I like the confetti on fire. It's like raining freaking ashes now. Uh, uh, not sure where you get the confetti, but okay. Dude. Dude. You know I'm going to ask Zildrek to grab two of the barrels, and I'm going to try and grab two of the barrels, too. I'm going to throw a handful of confetti at him. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll grab two so, of the barrels. So I'm going to... Are you I'm trying to grab, like, small barrels or some of the large ones? Uh, uh just to... What? Uh, the larger ones, I imagine, were pretty large, so... Yeah, it was, like, the bigger ones, you definitely wouldn't be able to bring two. You'd be focusing all on one. Um, you could bring some of the smaller ones that you can kind of tuck underneath your arms. Um, you don't know how well it'll do, but it's better than nothing. Uh, one of them does appear to slosh quite a bit. Ew. Uh, let's drink. Trying to get a drink. <laughs> it's someone's, like, poop. Let me pee in it. <laughs> Jesus. That's but, how I get drunk. I like how that's always the first solution to everything y'all do. <laughs> Just pee on it. <laughs> hey, I'll, I'll drink water out of the fountain. That's my pee. That's I'm, uh... Please, please don't tell me you're gonna barricade us in again. Hello. Check. Oh, sorry. Oh. You guys die, you. What are you doing? Go to that door. Oh, I'm going to that door. All right. Uh, Plus, with good. my survival and stuff, I should be fine. <laughs> gets crushed by a boulder and dies. Alright, you take six bludgeoning damage as as soon as you step the floor gives out from under you and you find yourself falling a good ten feet or so smashing down at the floor below. Kind of knocking the wind out of you. Oh, Actually damn. twenty feet, sorry. <laughs> you all watch as Klein like goes Charging past you towards the door and then just vanishes out of sight. Yeah. yeah. That Very sucked. Carefully, <laughs> walk over to, to there and look down. Alright. So you guys see Klein kind of getting back up now 20 feet below you as the floor has given away <laughs> and is now just in this pit. I'm gonna lower my my chain down and see if I can if I can help him climb. I mean, I assume those barrels fell with me, so I'm going to try and start stacking them to climb back up. Um, but I'm going to try and climb back up on the other side. Roll a percentile for me. Uh, D100. D100? Yeah. First, call high or low. Sure. High. Oh, Alright. Uh, unfortunately, the barrels kind of softened your fall. Uh, so they broke. Yeah. Uh, you're all now of them? Lying. With all that you're now lying. Up, you're li you're now lying in a pile of salted pork and ale. Oh yeah. <laughs> just like a Saturday like night. Yeah. With splinters of wood just all over the floor. <laughs> I'm gonna use my magnet gun to get the key, and then I'm gonna hide in the in the linen closet. <laughs> I jump down there and party with them. So I'm twenty. I'm twenty feet down, right? Yep. Okay, but I'm six foot something, right? Yeah. Yeah, and I'm uh, lowering my chain down to help you. Yeah, but jump. It's a it's a five foot it's a five foot gap, right? Uh, the floor itself appears to be a ten foot gap, as the space directly in front of them also closed. Uh, okay, I pull my. Walk away. <laughs> so this this part of the. So I can move over here? No, directly in front of you, still fine. Just the spot next to This you. spot here? Yeah, above you and next to you, that those four squares are uh, all now this big sunken uh, pit. Okay. Hmm. Um, give me a second. Uh, uh, which actually I would say for those up top, uh, you do see what appears to be a very narrow ledge 
along the two walls that didn't quite sink in. Oh. Jackpot, right there. At the top of the crevices? Uh, no, just, you know, so it like So it, like, broke cleanly, I mean? Uh, you could, you know, try to grab on the, like, some of the, uh, tiles and stuff that are, some of them are still hanging on, or just kind of make a leap and try well, to run was, up here. I, uh, no, I was gonna say, I have 50 feet of rope, so can I, like, try to, like, rope it around one of the pieces? Uh, uh, it'd be kind of difficult, um, especially without any kind of, like, hook or something to attach to it. Make it yeah, I don't have a hook. Can you guys get to the other side? I'm um, not sure. The, the, there's a little bit of a lag, but we'll have to test it before putting it. Xanthos, you're probably the lightest of us, you want to try and cross the little ledge? Maybe the, the heavier one can go first. Huh? I mean, I, I can... Make it, sure to make it. Huh? I mean, I can give it a shot. I'll go around... Just the... put your weight on it, but Zoldrak hold him, just in case he, it gives. Alright. All right. So you watch as he kind of steps out a little bit, kind of testing it, and steps out a little more, and it appears to be holding his weight. Um... Eventually, he starts trying to move a yeah. little further from you. Hold. I'm gonna oh, hold on shit. to his arm and then, and then hand or, or whatever. He flies he away. To... Yeah, he takes a couple steps and eventually motions for you to let go, saying that he's good. Okay. And then a couple sliding motions is completely on the other side. I'm gonna like with... I'm gonna toss my fifty feet of rope up to him. All right, he grabs it and uh, please don't pull me in. He's gonna. <laughs> Back up and kind uh, of. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask him if there's anything to like wrap up around. No, it's all just stone up here. Okay. Uh, if you, you start if you start to slip, then let it go. Uh, why don't we see if the others make it first so they can help? Okay. All right. So if y'all want to try, go ahead and make a acrobatics check. Oh God. Yeah. Unless you want. <laughs> unless you want to try to leap over the ten feet. <laughs> Jesus. Sorry, I'm I'm uh, bringing up my sheet. Oh, uh, right Matt. Acrobatics. Yeah. Add one hit point to you. I wasn't supposed to add one to that roll. I don't so know. So I'm at sixteen. Yeah, you only took five. Okay. Uh, Nisa, you take seven bludgeoning damage as you now land flat down right next to a. Uh, Let's go, Zoldrek. Uh, hey, uh, Zoldrek, however, in a Hi. basically leap. Like, you slide just like two steps and then leap over all of them. As you watch Nisa fall in and slam down next to Klein, you then land on the other side. Damn, you took seven bludgeoning damage? Yeah. Whew. Fragile little one. Um, I'd say y'all could I'm kind gonna, of. I'm gonna help him up. Can I say that I, like, got underneath him or anything? Uh, I'll say make a. Uh... Catch make me! A, make a athletics check. Catch me and fall in. Alright, uh, uh, Nisa, make a dexterity saving throw. Dexterity saving throw. Uh. Saving throws. Shit. I do saving throws again. Uh, it's the top box. Like yeah. acrobatics and animal handling and stuff. Oh, got it. Alright. <coughs> so, wipe out the uh, damage I said earlier. Oh, thank God. Aiming toward Klein as you see him holding his arms out. and His brain is easy enough to kind of Get both arms underneath you and kind of stop you from slamming into the floor. You're I put, welcome. I put my arm around his neck and say my hero. <laughs> my hero! Man, I did not expect us to become best friends. <laughs> no, wait, no, wait, even better. 
Did we just become best friends? <laughs> <laughs> I shake my head like furiously. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, so I'm gonna try and lift him up towards the ledge. Like I figure with my shoulder, like him on my shoulders, he could probably like almost touch. Yeah. It. Uh, make a athletics check again, Sean. Uh, I'll reach down and grab his wing. Right, to... So at advantage. <laughs> athletics. All right, so yeah, easy enough with the height, and then Zoldrek up top, you're able to kind of pull him up, and you get upwards to the top of the uh, section. Hmm. Uh, Xanthos kind of motions for you all to kind of hold on to the rope that Klein had thrown up, and uh, he's a little heavier than me, if y'all could help. Oh, okay. the, the javelin of lightning down at mine. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I like how that's all that's the solution. Good. <laughs> Light. Dang, just pull up the heads up. Hey, athletics at advantage, Matt. Hey, you go. Woo! Hey, so. Oh, that 26 wasn't mine, dang it. <laughs> <That> was <good. laughs> Still good enough, though. Easy enough, you eventually kind of get your rope back. Um, you're now all on the other side of this pit. Not charging ahead anymore. I'm sorry, guys. Let's let's open the door. It's where it's a little Zamp cramp. Standing, right? <laughs> now we good. He said what? <laughs> appears to be a double door. Um, but yeah, y'all are still kind of pressed in in this little area now. But yeah, the door has got plenty of room for y'all to go through. Does it open inward or outward? Uh, inwards. Okay. I'm in a very slowly open, like, pull one side in to see if Xanthos can look in. Alright, so you kind of creak the door open and Xanthos kind of peeks in and he's... So wait, it opens towards us or away from us? Uh, into the room that it's, you know, leads to, so away from y'all. Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought that it opened, okay. In uh, that sorry. case, I'll just push the door and peek in. Alright, so you push it open and kind of peek in. Um, you look in and see what appeared to be a bunch of uh, sarcophaguses, sarcophagi. Ooh. I don't know what it is. Um, so, like coffins? Pretty much, like stone coffins. Three of them in the room, and you see a couple doors on the far end. I'm gonna move to where he was and look in. Hey, right, so I'll, I'll move you in just so you can see, but yeah. Sorry. Oh, that. Hmm. So it has a look at the so they can come in. Yeah. Yeah, I'll say the others can again and. Huh. Right. Coffins that are. You know what? What's strange? We haven't had to fight a single person since we've been in here. I know that's on like really. Um, I'm gonna check this sarcophagus for trap for traps. Eh. Eh. Um, which one? The the one closest to me to the left. Eh. So you head over to it. Um, you kind of walk up to it, and you see what appears to be like a carving in the stone of human male on top. Uh, looking at them, they appear to be kind of a, uh, of noble stock, just based yes, on the way they're depicted. Um, but as you... As you get near it and start to bend down, Give me one second. Uh oh. Well, I did say I wanted to check it for traps, so like I wanted to inspect it. Uh -oh. oh crap! Uh oh. Zambi. Uh, you see, as a bunch of bones start flying around the room and slowly start flying into a bunch of skeletons, each one standing now on top of the actual coffins. 
as they, as they each form, and they're now looking around at the. I can get everybody to roll initiative, please. I'm going to use all of my mana. I don't have mana. Wait, wait. <laughs> I thought. Don't I have potions of healing? Oh, yeah, I have two. Okay, never mind. I was like, he should. I don't think. So we're rolling initiative. Shit. Yep. Uh, All right, guys. Jesus. I get to go first. Hold on. Jesus. They're still. Uh... Are they gonna roll a a twenty though? I mean, I mean that was close. That yeah, was close. All right, so we got Roderick, skeletons, <sighs> Nisa, Xanthos, and Klein. All right, soldier, you're up first. You watch as all these uh, skeletons sl slowly come to life. Each of them kind of bending down and pulling up. Uh, short swords that were kind of rusting along the walls. Yo, are any of y'all hurt? Uh, that's, that's like 17 hit points. Or is it just me who is hurt? Uh, Zildjian is hurt a little bit, but not much. Oh. Everybody else is full. Alright. Uh, so I assume you're attacking the one nearest? Yeah. Sorry, I didn't say that. No worries. Uh, I gotta go back to... Are you here or here, Chuck? So, you charge up next to it, and, alright, so that yeah, hits, right. and... And Chuck, click on the word flail right here in our little roll section. Oh, that's how you did it, I get it. Yep. Click on the word flail. See your thing where it pops up in the chat? If you actually go and click yeah. on the flail oh, part of it. Oh, I see. Yeah, it'll roll it like that, that's good to know. So you did seven yeah, damage, so. Chuck. Well, well I we'll rolled nine. Uh -oh. Yeah, we'll keep, oh. keep the nine. Oh, fair enough. Fair yeah. enough. So in the future, that's how you can do it. All right, so you charge forward, bringing your flail down and kind of smashing the skeleton bounces off the wall a little bit. And kind of... That one blow seems to have uh, dealt quite a bit of damage to it. Rattled his bones. Actually. Ew. Actually. Cause that is bludgeoning. Never mind. You kill it outright. Yeah, my face, stupid skeleton. <laughs> uh, so you smash it up against the wall, and you watch his bones just go scattering all over the place <laughs> as its skull kind of falls down and is kind of looking up at you, but no longer seems to be stupid ass skeleton. Any kind of magic left within it. I'm gonna turn. To the one that's that's just north of the one I just killed, and point at it and say, Fuck "Flip you. it off! <laughs> Flip off your skeletons!" <laughs> oh, uh, uh, you broke up. You broke up. No, Chuck, what are you saying? I'm just gonna turn towards the one just above the one I just. Hey, I'm not charge him or anything. I just stand here. That's fine, cause he's charging you. Yeah, I think. Uh, and this one is going to charge down at Nisa. Of course. Skeletons. Oh, uh, no. This is so, so much easier. It just automatically rolls everything. I didn't know that. Uh, so that's an 18 to hit you, Drek. What? I don't see 18. Yeah. Oh, it don't, oh, it only shows it to me. Mm. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Interesting. I don't, I don't know. It sounds trying to hit me. <laughs> Cheapsies. <laughs> oh my gosh. I hate you know, so that would have been a hit. Uh, so you take three piercing damage as the okay. short sword kind of connects with you. How do we you know? We don't see that. I, I believe. I believe, I believe him. him. Come lies. on. Lies. Lies. <laughs> hurt me. I didn't realize that's what it did. Which is actually technically the way it's supposed to be, because you're not supposed to see the DM's rolls, but... 
Yeah, he, man. He wouldn't hurt you. I believe him. Geez. All right, and that's a 20 against ah! you, Nisa. Jesus. Ah! That scared the crap out of me, dude. I can't hear. Uh, so, Nisa, you take Here, come four. here. You take four piercing damage as the sword kind of connects to you as the skeleton charges in your direction. Okay. Oh, he's doing it all in private now. Uh, well, could... Just click that weapon and it automatically the attack and damage all at once. Jesus, the on collection's side. fucky. Yeah. Um, that brings us to Nisa. Uh... Ooh, it's Nisa. Hey guys, pause for a second. Pause. <laughs> Who goes yeah, there? Where's the birthday boy? Uh-oh. <laughs> Happy birthday, boy! Thanks, Pops. <laughs> Hi, man. Love ya. Love you, Be too. Good. No can do. Bye. Hey, Mike. <laughs> hey. Hey, Chuck, you going uh, Saturday? No, I don't think so. Uh, Come on, man! You can't say no. <laughs> Matt, Matt, and I are going to try and get those military tickets for fifty-five dollars. I, I didn't realize it was this this Saturday. Huh? I got something going on. Um, that you know, I'm jobless. <laughs> yeah, that's the perfect time, so you don't have any uh, obstructions. Oh, well, that's true. <laughs> I have to work. I have to work all night Saturday night, so I'm the one who should be saying no. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Let Matt know if uh, if uh, we get three tickets or just two. All right, cool, man. All right. So, talk to you guys later. Have fun. All right, see you. Bye. <laughs> Alright, Nisa. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just shoot this firebolt right in this guy's face for for smacking me. I don't like that. Alright, uh, it is disadvantage for range in your face. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, Lightning bolt. Yeah. So you can still do it, it's just it'll be at disadvantage. Unless yeah. you have. No, uh, I'm like, I have one slot left, because we never rested from that, so I'm going to just go ahead and do it. Uh, oh, shit. <sighs> a, what is that? Uh, 13, 13 hits. Oh, Jesus, thank you. It's a skeleton. They don't really have much in the way of uh, armor. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Despite it being in your face, you kind of back up as much as you can without pressing against Xanthos and let loose this bolt of fire. Can I press kind against of... Xanthos anyway? Yeah. <laughs> you, get a little bit, you get a little bit of a wetness from the just general way his skin is. With your hand that's not throwing the fireball, you grab his crotch. Uh, but oh you look God. over and see like a bunch of uh, scorch marks now on the chest of the skeleton as it's like looking at you a little... Angry if a skeleton could be angry. <laughs> True. <laughs> uh, it does bring us to Xanthos, who is going to charge next to you. And is going to try to... Oh, uh, that hits. And it's going to kind of off, as you finish blasting into it, it's going to come around the corner, smashing it with his mace, kind of slamming it up against the wall. And again, he watches his bones start scattering everywhere and all the, you know, the skull and bones kind of fall into a lifeless pile Jack kind of at your feet. Yes. That brings us to client. I'm gonna move over here and just double slash at him. Alright, so you kind of leap up and run across the uh, coffin real quick, yeah. jumping down. Go ahead and make your attack. Alright, so the 18 hits. 
Ooh. Damn, son. Not bad, not bad at all. All right. So you kind of slash in, kind of cleave in a way like it's right on and some of the other bones, and you watch as they fall down to the floor as he's now, like, still standing, but now, like, with one arm and a couple of ribs now missing. Mm-hmm. And he's kind of, like, darting back and forth between, like, you and Zoldrek. I'm going to continue moving on to right here, too. All right. Uh, Zoldrek. I'm going to hit him. All right. We now have, <laughs> we now have, uh, we now have advantage because you have it flanked with Klein. You would have missed. Oh, crap. All right. He's, he's gonna do. So with that, you kind of bring your uh, flail around, and you climb. You as you jump around the skeleton, you see like the shape of Zoldrek swing, and then you watch as all the bones just go scattering in a place, and nice. everything kind of falls down at your feet. Awesome. Oh, I didn't <laughs> think that would kill them. Uh, they're vulnerable to bludgeoning damage. You were doing was double damage. Oh, that's it. Hmm. Just both because of the uh, maces and flails you have did to those things. And they're not so massive. Don't like damage. They don't have a lot of hit points, anyways. They're just skeletons. Right. <laughs> Are you afraid of some skeleton? But you are now left alone in the room. Yo, I'm he tired. Had a Let's take a nap. Bushy beard. You said what? I said, I said he had a great big bushy beard. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I think we should set up camp for a little bit. I'll stay awake. Uh, everybody make a perception check real quick. God, I'm not very perceptive. Alright, Xanthos. Okay, Nisa. <laughs> My eyes are already closed, and I'm sleeping, bitch. I said I'm taking a nap. <laughs> yes, you did. Um, so as you're, uh, as all of y'all are, like, starting to lift up the, uh, coffins, um, which as you lift them up just a little bit, you do see bodies on the inside. Well, I should say, piles of bones on the inside, all of them, like, you know, with ragged, kind of torn clothes that have kind of, at this point. Um, But as you're doing this, uh, Xanthos actually tells you. He says what? He kind of motions for you all to be quiet. We have uh, company in the next room. Sounded like a woman crying out. Kind of which, faintly, but which which room? He points to the door to the right. Oh, I didn't even see that door there. Ah, uh, it's hard to tell. It was pretty faint, but it it could have been. Are these doors innies or outies? Uh, looking at the one to the right, it appears to open in or away from you. In this black. other one? Uh, same. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, our party kind of needs a rest. Yeah. Do you guys want to take, like, a short 30-minute break? Mm-hmm. That would help Sean get back some of his points. Uh, I mean, we can take a quick break. Um. Why don't we back? Oh, I guess we can't really backtrack. I'm gonna. If you guys want, there wasn't very much room left there, but. I'm gonna cast Goodberry again, so I'm gonna have no more spell slots. Alright. Um, and I am going to consume five of them to put me back to 21. 
Anybody else need some good berries? Yeah. Oh, we both need some. He needs some more. What are you guys at? Oh shit. I need. I need six, but I've got a health potion that I can use. You need six HP. How much do you need, Sean? Uh, four. Alright, so I'll give Sean two and Chuck three, and that'll be the last of my good berries. Okay. Thanks. So, Sean, you get back two health. Chuck, you get back three health. Alright. Cool, thanks, buddy. My pleasure. I guess I shouldn't have held myself back up to 100% if you guys weren't. I'm sorry. Well, I mean, if I should help for the short term. Uh, should we check out the next room? Just to be sure. Sure. I still have a little bit of healing capabilities if things get rough. I'm gonna walk up to the door and just put my ear to it. Alright, make a perception check. You kind of listen for a moment. Um, you don't hear too much. You hear what sounds like something kind of brushing up against the wall, not far from you, like on the other side of the door. Um, but everything other than that seems pretty hushed. I'm going to wave Zoldrek over. We've got one chance for a surprise attack. So, what do you say on three? Yeah, let's do it. All right, I'm gonna put my fingers up in three and then start counting down. All right. Two, one, and then I'm gonna kick the door in with both of my swords out. All right. Uh, first, make a athletics check. Oh Jesus! Yeah. Let me not screw this up. You fall to the floor again. My my leg snaps in half. Jesus! <laughs> All right, uh, the door budges and kind of creaks open a little bit. Um, <laughs> uh, as it does, uh, you do see what appears to be a bunch of cells lining the opposite wall across from you. Oh, yep, I screwed up. <laughs> you kind of feel the, the door start to kick back beside you as one of the ruffians now attacks you. <laughs> uh, that's 22 to hit. That hits. Uh, so you take 6 slashing damage as he brings this sword. Well, God bless. I'm glad I ate those freaking berries. You press up against you, but your weight alone is kind of keeping it at bay. Kinky. So is it blocking this guy, or is it blocking this guy? Uh, the guy above you. <clears throat> okay. I'm gonna, like, press into it. Alright. Mm. Against it, kind of yeah. keep yeah. getting through. We were like, guys, come on. <laughs> what, guys? Right. what are you doing uh, in there, Matt? What are you doing, Klein? Eh? I'll say, uh, do you want to keep the last initiative or do you want to re-roll? I want to re-roll. All right, re-roll. Nice. God bless. <laughs> It's amazing that you, the guy with like the highest modifier for initiative. Damn. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, Zantro Santos is first. <laughs> uh, seeing. And he got attacked, and seeing you kind of like press up against the door behind you, he's gonna charge. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like put up two 
fingers too. All right. Um, so he's going to kind of best his ability, kind of reach around you as you kind of press back and go ahead and try to attack the one that attacked you. Uh, well, that hits. All right, so, so he kind of smashes in, like bringing his mace around, like beside you, slamming into the guard, kind of knocking him back up against the cells, and is then going to uh, try to squeeze past you to get into the room. And then seeing that you're kind of trying to keep the door occupied, is then going to move up that way. Cool. Um, uh, but does take three slashing damage in the process. Oh, the, uh, crap. Other guard that kind of reaches out in retaliation. Uh, Nisa. Oh, shit. Um, Nisa, just stay outside. Protect us with your magic if they get out. So, stay in this room. Yeah. There's two guards in here. Do I hear that, or is he, is he trying to will me to do this? <laughs> no, I've, I've got the door open. Oh, the so door's yeah. open. You see yeah. him pressed up against the door as Xanthos kind of charges in and fighting somebody that's be directly ahead of him, and you hear him call out that there's two. So wait, which door is, like, pushed closed? The one on the top left? Uh, the one to... I'm Sorry, the one to your right is the one that he went through and is kind of pushing. It's I'm, technically it's, open, even though you it's can't open. It. Yeah, mm. I'm like pushing up against the guard that's behind it. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Yeah, so you, you see him in the doorway, like pressing the door as far open as it can be, and you can tell he's fighting somebody that's directly ahead of him that's out of sight currently. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna just. Kind of chill where I'm at then. Um, Alright. I don't want to die. <laughs> Alright. That's it. I'll skip. So, we'll say, we'll say you'll hold your turn just in case anything happens. Okay. Uh, Clyde. Uh, I'm gonna poison breath this guy below me. Uh, do keep in mind. Uh, you you have the people on the other side of the cage that would be affected. It's a it's a it's a fifteen foot cone, right? Yeah, so it would so it would hit this person here. Yeah, it wouldn't hit both both of them though, right? Nope, just the one. Um, which now that you're inside, you do see what appears to be a. What is this thing here? Uh, a door that leads into the cell. So it it's completely like open. Like uh, no, it's currently shut. Well, no, no, no. But I mean, like, like it's like bars. Yeah, it's, it's like barred okay. cells. Yeah. So you see an older woman, uh, uh, and what appears to be a younger woman that's kind of probably in her teens or so, maybe a little older, but they seem to be huddling, kind of inside the cell, kind of scared, and you can kind of hear movement behind you in the other cells, but you can't currently see. Alright, I'm gonna have sex with both of them. <laughs> <laughs> so, can I not, like, just get right up on him and just focus the breath right onto him? No. Un check. Unfortunately, it's a, uh, cone. Okay. Which, actually, real quick. Um. Yeah, you can only use it once per short, long rest anyway. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. weird. It's the way dragon breaths work, like it recharges, you can't just use it constantly. Okay, well I'm gonna splash down on him with one of my short swords then. Alright, hits. Alright, so you slash down at him, and now like, pulling it inside, like blood dripping out. Uh, appears barely be standing, but is still currently kind of holding himself right, using the bars as kind of his support. And can I slash my other short sword through the through the door? Is it's the door? Yeah. So kind of behind you at the other one. Yeah. 
Alright, um... Go you ahead and... Disadvantage? Uh, I'll say... He'll just have added cover. Because you gotta try to get through the door and hit him. So just make a regular attack. Alright, yeah. Either way, it wouldn't hit. Um, mm -hmm. So you gotta go to try to stab through... And it goes... Ding! And you have to, like, tug it back out. <laughs> a little frustrated. Yeah. And back up against the door. All right. Uh, brings us to, to the guards. So the one against you, Klein, that is, is a 18 hits. in the hit. And against, yep, that hits uh, Xanthos. So Klein, you take seven slashing. Whew. And Xanthos takes eight. Mm. Right. Most hurt he's been in a while. Whew. All right, Zoldrek, bring it home. Yep, Zoldrek, you are up. All right, I'm going to step up in the roof. Ooh, actually, I just realized. Um. Xanthos is currently unconscious. Oh, shit. Hey, what? How? He had a lot less health than I thought. From eight damage puts him unconscious? He took damage earlier when he ran away from the guy. Oh, crap. Actually... Never mind. He has one hit point. Hmm. Huh. He took three from the earlier slash. She has twelve health total. Jesus. So he's barely standing. <laughs> I don't know why barely I thought he had healing. more health. All right, so you kind of charge up, and you can see. Uh, I'm like pressed up against the door, so I imagine I'm more like in this spot than this spot. Yeah, right? I was like, I'll let you move over some. So you come in, and you can see this one ruffian that is horribly roughed up and barely seems to be standing. Is that the and you one see, to the south? Yeah, and you see Klein kind of pressing a door upwards, like as far back as it can go, and you can hear another guard on the other side of it struggling, and that's the one to the above you. But he's currently blocked by a door. Um, and then you see the women in the cage, or the cells below you. Well, I see Xanthos is all fucked up, right? Uh, you could, I'd say as you clamp, like, came in, yeah, you see him a little bit looking, uh, pretty bad. <laughs> well, I'm gonna charge as hard as I can, um, up against, like, next to Klein, and I'm just gonna try and crush the dude behind the door. Alright, uh, I'll, I'll still say, keep my weight up against Yeah, it. I'll say go ahead and make a athletics at advantage. Sorry. So you actually pull the door off its hinges <laughs> and just smash them up against the bars. Uh, go ahead and uh, roll a d6 plus your strength. Shit, you crushed that dude. D6 plus my strength. Nice. Plus the strength modifier or plus his strength? Uh, the modifier. Oh, okay. I was going to say... Yeah, my crazy. strength was 18. That would be crazy. <laughs> yeah, no, you, you never actually had any ability score itself. <laughs> right, right, right. Plus four. Damn. All right. We just killed this dude with a door. <laughs> uh, alive, but you currently now have him pinned against the bars with this door. Uh, you see him kind of... You can feel him trying to struggle to get free, but you currently have him held in place. <laughs> You can just start start stabbing around the sides. <laughs> All right, so that's your uh, action. Anything else? Uh, no. All right, brings us to, to 
hold him right. by the, to the bar. Brings us to Xanthos, who, with your currently having him pinned, is just going to try to finish him off. Um, it would be at advantage, though, since he's technically grappled. Mm-hmm. Um, and, yep. With that, as he tries to, like, squeeze his way outside of the door, he kind of feels the uh, mace of Xanthos come crashing in, and you feel the uh, struggle behind the door suddenly cease. Yeah. And as you lessen up a little bit, you feel the body sliding down. And... Yeah, I'll lay off it. Alright. Uh... Lisa. I won't. I'm going to lift it over my head and throw it at the other guy. <laughs> I'm going to walk inside and uh, actually see what's going on for once. Ho! Oh. Hmm. Okay. And uh, let's see. In here. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I was like, just, just stay out. Stay. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to at least, I'm going to walk in, walk back out, and stand outside the door and like peek through the door and be like, what you yeah. doing? <laughs> yeah, so you see, the, you see the one guard now that is like pulling himself upwards, like using these bars, and you see a couple women that seem to be bes- like inside these cells. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to the, I'm gonna like stay where I'm standing and, and talk to the guard. Um, do you have the keys to the cell? Why, why should I help you? Open it and I'll let you walk. How do I know you're telling the truth? <laughs> what choice do you have? Yeah. I could just hey, lay hey. my swords into you right now. You gotta stop telling people you're gonna let them walk, because you know I'm gonna kill this dude when he tries <laughs> to leave. Uh, make, a, uh, make either persuasion or intimidation. Uh, at advantage since he's currently uh, beaten within an inch of his life. <sighs> he's like, you see him like spit off to the side and just over there on the wall. Go grab them. Yeah. <sighs> kind of walks over and kind of reaches up and pulls like this ring of keys off the wall. As soon as his back's to me, I'm going to stab him with both of my swords. Right. Hey, pack roll. Uh, at advantage since he doesn't see it coming. Did it roll both? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Which, it, it doesn't matter because your modifier alone, one of those is going to kill him. He had two health left. <laughs> But yeah, you just kind of easily cut them into a couple pieces and are able to kind of snatch the keys out of his now detached arm before it falls. Like, uh, I'm going to go first to... Uh, do I recognize any of the four people here? Uh, you recognize above you uh, Pip, the little boy from the inn. I'm going to go to let him out first. Um, you also see another boy... Um, Did they get carp too? Uh, no, you don't oh, recognize. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go up to Pip, the one I recognize, and, and ask him if his friend is okay. <sighs> Wait, you're asking Pip if his friend's okay? Yeah, if if he like basically, I'm trying to see if he knows the other kid. Uh, uh, we're, we're fine. Uh, especially, especially now that you guys have come. I'm thinking one of these is the wizard, guys. Uh, and he kind of motions over. I was like, this. Uh, him and his mother over there were taken to, and he kind of points the other way towards the uh, woman and the other girl. I'm going to toss the keys to the other kid and tell him to go let his mother out. Hey. Uh, and then I'm going to just go up and like make sure that Pip's okay. Like, check him over. Hey. You go in and 
Other than like a couple bruises here and there, and he seems to be all right. I'm um, just kind of like mine. Just, <laughs> just a little scared, but otherwise seems to be hanging in there. Well, as of right now, we don't have means to get you all out. Uh, I'm afraid we're going to have to go deeper into this. But maybe you know the way you came in? Uh, they brought us... Uh, I they... I'm going to like be pacing back and forth. I believe you brought us, I want to say, through the... It's like a cellar entrance. Um, I don't know. They kind of threw a bag over my head after a while. Understandable. I didn't get to see much. <laughs> no problem. Why, is she ugly just, or something? just rest. Just rest. You're fine. You're safe now. Yeah. Right, are we? Are, are, mom and dad, are they okay? They're fine. They're still. They 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 sent us here to save you. Wait a minute. What, what happened to Klein's voice? Uh, I'm Klein. It hurts. Sleepy. My throat hurts. My throat hurts. <laughs> yes, he, he just and, had and plus, his his voice is only like that when he's second guessing himself. Right now, he's full of himself. <laughs> it's an it's an in story reason for my voice to hurt. How how take it? <laughs> it's my flaw. Okay, it's my character flaw. Is my voice? Hey, but hey. as you. As you guys are watching him talk, you see the little boy run over and unlock the uh, other cages, and the woman kind of leads her uh, daughter out, um, and she kind of looks over at you that are in this side and just... Thank you, thank you so much for rescuing us. I didn't think anybody was going to come. The heroes of Fenderlin are here. When he says that, I just kind of, like, look over at him like, what the fuck? <laughs> I just leave. I walk back out. Yeah. <laughs> we were becoming such good friends. Well, no, seriously, I, I thank you. I, uh, I don't, I don't have much to, uh, repay you with, but, um, actually, uh, going over here. All right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start walking up to her. Alright, so you kind of walk over and Pips kind of follows you. Uh, but she's... Uh, when I was a young girl, my family and I actually fled from a thunder tree after it was overran uh, with the undead. Uh, my family had a urban alchemy shop. Inside was a case with an emerald necklace. Um, kind of hidden behind a bunch of shells. I'd always wanted to go back, but I can never really work up the courage. Uh, if you guys ever find yourselves, feel free to keep it as my thanks. Well, I appreciate that, but your thing, your life is enough of a thing. Uh, <laughs> 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 I don't know what they were intending with us ever since they, uh, they killed my husband. How many have you seen? Uh, I can't I'm... imagine you only saw these two. Uh, so there was a couple when they first took us that, you know, they came in the night when we were asleep. Um, since then, I've been kept in here. They haven't let us out. Uh, it's ranged from two or three that kind of alternate the shifts but unfortunately I can't tell you much more than I know that uh, I know that a wizard leads them but I haven't seen them personally hmm. and hey guys, from what I know there's a bunch of like tall furry monsters that work as well yeah. oh well Hey guys, maybe we should rest in these cells for. Yeah, so we get locked in. We we have the keys. Is is there really no way out? There might be, but the way that we came is not a way out anymore. Uh, uh. All right. 
Fireball, uh, fireball. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> either way, we we have y'all with us. I feel much better if any of them do stumble in. Xanthos, go in the cell and rest. Uh, yeah, I I think that might be a good idea. I uh, whew, that hurt. Pip, please watch my friend here while he sleeps. Protect him. Sure. I uh, uh, practice for when I'm. Uh, yeah, I I I I, I got it. You, you've you've seen adventuring firsthand now, Pip. Yeah, it's uh. You don't necessarily need our tails anymore. Just wait till Car cares about this. <laughs> yeah. And Nilsa and her family actually kind of go back in and. She kind of starts calming them down, letting them know that they're going to be out as soon as possible. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't, um, I don't want to seem like I don't trust you, but do you mind if I have the key back? Uh, and the little boy kind of hands it over to ours. Would you guys would you guys prefer your cell to be closed while you rest or not? Uh, I suppose you could close it just in case, but my thought exactly. Uh, I'll close it really slowly just so like they don't get like intimidated or anything. Alright. And then I'm gonna go in and lay down beside Xanthos and try to rest as well. I assume my other two party members heard all of this since there's no door anymore. <laughs> yeah, they would have heard the conversation as they're kind of... Actually, I'm going to lay away from the bars. Um, which, the two of you, what were you doing while you hear all this going on inside? I'm actually... You don't even yeah, we're going to stand guard out here, I guess, since we're doing that. Um, I'm going to suggest to Nisa that he get some rest too. Those spells look like they took a lot out of him. Well, once you guys wake up, me and Zoljek will take a sleep. Fair enough. Got the shut the cell here. All right. You think this would be a good stopping point, or you guys want to? No, I think this. With y'all taking a rest, this would probably be a good point to stop. Are we taking a short rest or a long rest? <laughs> it's up to you all. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn off my gem of brightness so that people can actually rest. <laughs> huh. I don't know how many slots do uh, I get back for a short rest? Just one? None. None. Yeah, you have to do a long rest to get spell slots back. You would just get your uh, health and any special abilities. Which, as a wizard, don't forget, you do have uh, your cane recovery ability. Yeah. Uh, so when you finish a short rest, you can choose to expend uh, one slot to recover. Is it the same key to unlock both cells? Uh, I'd say it was probably a different key. Well then why don't we all just get inside cells and I'll just give each person a key. I mean somebody could still stay awake but at least we'll all be together in the room. Alright, so yeah, you'd be able to you'd be able to recover one first level spell if you uh use your arcane recovery, Sean. Okay, fair enough. We can do that. Yeah, let's uh might as well. I'm gonna just go to sleep. I'm just go to sleep. Uh, Wait. Keep in mind that it's only a couple hours after y'all woke up. Yeah. Well, yeah, but okay, but I mean, I'm gonna rest. Is what I mean. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. So. Yeah. Rest for now. Okay. 
So anybody who's hurt can go ahead and face the regain health. One hit dice? Uh, as many as you want. Um, you can roll one, and then if you need more, go ahead and roll another. Uh, remember to add your constitution modifier to it. Oh yeah, that uh, oh, Actually, it, go, it already did it for you, yeah. so it's even better. So that's all I needed was two. Sweet. I got plus three. All, right, need all I needed two. was three, and I got eight. Once per day, yeah. I'll do ahead and do that. I'm just gonna pass. Oh, you okay. Oh. What is it? I'm kidding. What'd you say? I said I'm gonna put myself at 25 if that's it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So, yep. So let's just mark off uh, whatever amount of hit dice you do you. Mm -hmm. um, those you'll get back at a long rest. Or most of them. What? Um, I I'm very confused. I don't know what I did here, dude. I was trying to mark off my hit dice, but uh, you should see a little arrow on the sides. Uh, that kind of you can scroll up and down. Mm -hmm. Just or you can actually delete the middle number and put in however many you have left. That's what so, I did. Okay, so the big number is how many I have. Yeah, left. The, little, the little number on top is your total. Okay, so I'm not confused anymore. Yep. I, so I need to back. Swing my flail. Yep. It's same thing like with your health. The big number is your current total. The little number on top is what you have. So this or, this ten was my second roll. Uh, uh, where is your? Yeah, because you had the three at first, and then on the second one, yeah. Alright, so I'm back to full health. Yep. Uh, like, I believe everybody uh, should be full. Yep. Yeah. Santos, too? Yep. Cool. And then Nisa. So I don't get back either of my spell slots, though? Nope. That has to be a long rest. Uh, so, Nisa, you can go ahead and use your arcane recovery if you want. I'm going to. Yep. Yeah. So, you'll get one spell slot back. And then go ahead and mark off your arcane recovery as well. Okay. Uh, same situation, you'll have, you know, the big number in the middle, which is your total currently. And you'll get that back when you actually go to sleep. <laughs> Fair enough. Alright. So we'll go ahead and stop there. Um, so that way we don't get into any big fight and everything. So everybody gets 313 experience. Which should be... A enough to level you up. Indeed it is. Yeah. Yeah. It's me. Yep. You said 300 and... 313. Oh, okay. The 9.6 for me. Same. Yep. The next level is 2700. Jesus. 2700, okay. I leveled... So I'm at 901, David? Yep. Now I'm level 3. Yep. So... What's what's the guys, next level? What is it? Uh, 2700 to reach level 4. Jesus. That's gonna take forever. Oh. Eh. Well, the harder things you fight, the more experience they offer as well, so... Yeah. Right. So what does a ranger get at level 3? Uh, well, first at level three, you all can go ahead and make your uh, health rolls. Oh yeah, I don't remember how to do that. Uh, as a ranger, it should be leave a d10. I'm sure mine's a d8. Uh, wizard is a d6. D6. Yeah, the downside to being spellcasters. Yep, d10 for. D10 for both Matt and uh, Chuck. D10 plus anything? Uh, plus your constitution modifier. Oh, so D10 hell. plus one? Yep. Can I keep that five? That's a good number. Oh, you don't have to just add your constitution modifier to it manually. Yes. Okay, so six. Yeah, I'm not going to make you re-roll it just to add in that modifier. <laughs> 
Yeah, this is a D10, right? Yep. Yeah. All right, so I'm at 29 now. 18. Boom. Boom, shut up. Locker. At, at, at 30. You passed me, Chuck. Alright. Yeah, boy. Um, so you all get a additional hit dice. You won't, won't regain the ones you spent, but you'll now have oh. an extra one. So if you had zero, you'll have one. Do so I go up to 29, or am I still at 21 current health points? Oops. Uh, well, you're full health, right? Yeah. Yeah, so you'll go up to your new health. Okay. Mm. You, do you hit so, dice? Uh, you'll have three maximum, but still subtract however many you use. So one, yeah. one, one that I could still use. Yep. See, I only used one, so that puts me at two out of three now, right? Yep. Okay. All right. So now is the big, big decision for some of y'all. Uh oh. Uh, I not you decided what I wanted. Not you, niece since you pick yours at second level, but... Oh, thank God. So, yeah, your main choice, Matt, is if you want to be a fighter or if you want an animal companion. Animal companion, bro. Uh, he would. I figured. He would. Uh, you will have to get out of this building first for that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but... So, that will take care of as soon as you kind of get in a position to be able to, uh... do that. Um, but let me double check, just see if there's any... Wait, what is primeval awareness? Hold on, let me get to everything. So, primeval awareness. Uh, you have an innate ability to communicate with beasts, and they recognize you as kindred spirits. Sounds and gestures, you communicate simple ideas to the beast to a beast as an action and can read its basic mood and intent. You do learn I, its emotion. Do I you get learn this its, immediately? At third level, yeah. Huh. You learn its emotional state, whether it is affected its short-term needs, such as food or safety, and actions you can take to persuade it not to attack. You can not use this ability against a creature that you have attacked with. Uh, uh, against the creature I attacked or what? Uh, within the last 10 minutes. So if you recently attacked it, you can't use it. Uh, which I'll fill out and put this in your actual character sheet so you have the full type of. Do I, I get just... that? Uh, do I get that either way? Yeah, that's just that's just one of your level 3 abilities. Oh, okay. Um, and then you can also spend one minute uninterrupted to see if there's any of your favorite enemies that are present within 5 miles of you. Uh, Say that one more you. time. So how you have a uh, favorite enemy. The beast? Yeah. So you could concentrate for one minute, and as long as you're uninterrupted, it'll tell you if there's any beasts that are, you know, any of your favorite enemies within five miles of you. Uh, it'll tell you their numbers and the general direction and distance from you. Cool. Um, so that's its biggest use is to kind of see like if there's something you. But yeah, other than that, the actual choice of you know the animal companion and all that. So we'll take care of that when that arises. Um, you also gain an additional spell slot, so you'll now have three first level spell slots, and you get to learn an additional. Oh, I do get to learn one. Yep. Sweet. All right, let me. Alright, uh, help Chuck for now. I'm going to pull up my spell slots again. Alright, so... I'll go ahead and give him... So you'll have one spell slot. But yep. Yeah, so you get to add in another spell that you know. It's um, just a level one? Yeah, right now it's just level one. Do I ever get above level one? Yeah, it just takes longer for rangers because they don't get as many spells. Alright, so Chuck, yours will be a little simpler, though you still have a class option as well. Um, 
So you get to pick your martial archetype. So you can choose to be a champion who focus on raw physical power honed to deadly perfection. Um, a battle master who's more of like a tactician, kind of positioning people around in battle and stuff. And Eldred's knight who is a spellcaster. I'm gonna go with... Oh. Well, those are the three main ones. There's also the additional ones they just recently added, if you want. I'm, I'm gonna go with Champion. Alright, so you'll like this. At third level, you now get a critical on a roll of 19 and 20. Nice. Whoa. Nice. So I should add that to my... Uh, I'll type all that in for y'all, just so you have the exact wording and all that. Uh, which also let me fix your uh, healing, or second win now, because now it's 1d10 plus 3, because it's based off the of fiber <laughs> Yeah. Alright. Uh, but other than that, that's all you get at level 3. Yeah, that's cool. What is my spellcasting ability modifier? Um, as a ranger, I want to say it's wisdom. Mine's wisdom. Uh, yours is intelligence, Sean. Oh, is it? You know, yeah. Oh, I'm thinking it's druid. Never mind. Yeah, you know druids, clerics, and all that are, uh... What was that, Chuck? You know what? What? I am the champion, my <laughs> friend. <laughs> yeah. Wisdom, uh, Matt. Wisdom? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Alright, so Sean, uh -oh. yours is probably simplest because, yeah, you just get new spells. So, you now get a additional first level spell slot. Yes. Which, if you, if you fixed your normal, yeah, it should automatically get slots. Oh. Uh, yeah. Uh, let me... Close it down real quick. Uh, yep. So now you have four total mm -hmm. slots. So, and I believe it's what you get two additional. Two additional what? Yep, so you get to pick two new spells and they can now be first or second level. Shit. Um, okay. And you can now prepare... Should be an additional spell. God dang. Uh, so your intelligence modifier plus your wisdom level. Or your wizard level. So what's your intelligence? So three plus. Three. So you can now prepare six spells. Oh shit. Okay. Yep. So I can. So. The, okay. So that'll be for you to go through. Is just go through the spells, pick two new spells, a first or a second level, and you can now prepare six at a time instead of five. Okay. And let me double check one last thing just to make sure. Uh. Yep. Can trips are still the same. You get a new cantrip at fourth level. Oh man, one more. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. Yep. And that'll be it. Cool. That works. Yeah, I'll let you know tomorrow what I find out. No worries. So yep, just let me know and I'll type them in with the others. And then next week we'll uh, pick up where we left off. Yeah. Uh,